trick is to tell them stories that don't go anywhere. Like the time I caught the ferry over to Shelbyville. I needed a new heel for my shoe. So I decided to go to Morganville, which is what they call Shelbyville in those days. I am on time. I am on time. I'm here. I looked at the clock. By what time it was. I was ready to go. And I freaked out and I was like, I have to press the button right now. Why do I feel like I'm so I'm really tall right now? I need to there we go. My chair booster thing was up high. <laughs> The air thing that makes you go higher or lower. Today we're going to play Power Wash uh, Simulator. The game that I've been talking about for a long time. And look at we're finally going to do it. I might, I'm, you know, I might have to take, I might, I'm going to take a Tylenol. And I woke up with a headache today. I need like a, like ibuprofen or something. You know when you have that wicked bad headache brain? Anybody else get this? Or you'll be like, your head hurts. So therefore like words coming out is, comes out slower. Like, I'm talking right now, but there's- it's going through like a headache filter. You know what I'm talking about? I hate that. Also, I feel like I'm way too close, yet way too far away from the screen at the same time. This is not right right here. Hold on. Now, I let Bugleberry borrow some of my audio equipment and some of my monitors. He didn't- he returned them wrong. Stalling. <laughs> Alright. Everything's too close to me. Get away from me. All my things are too close. I need to be sitting far away from my screen. You didn't change the category? What, am I still in hot tubs? What? No, I'm not. <laughs> I hope not. My go live notification is Bugleberry's Cauldron? No, 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 no. Fix that. Change that. That's not what I want. <laughs> he just does it again. Oh, dear. Okay. All right. We're good. 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 We're doing Power Wash Simulator. I can't wait. I'm really excited about this game. I thought this game was a joke. I willed this game into reality in my brain. Now I know that that seems incredibly egotistic and, and an insane narcissistic thing to say because this game's probably been in development for like a year or two. But if you remember six months ago, I was like, man, if there was only a game that you could just wash shit and clean stuff. And I, I could put my fingers on my head and I, scre I squ squeezed. In my brain, I willed this game into reality. That's not accurate. Are you kidding me? That isn't what happened. I hope there's a power washer unlockable. Make power wash a DLC and then make it so I can power wash like people's driveways and stuff, please. Somebody make that. Power wash somebody's house. I just want to do that. That's a fetish. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. If me talking about power washing a driveway is doing it for you, I'm, I'm, gonna not, I'm not gonna not talk about power washing a driveway. We have an insane link. Now. Okay, holy shit. Oh my god, fucking jeez. Power Wash Simulator is on Steam. <laughs> what the fuck? Power Wash Simulator. Look, let the soothing sounds of high pressure water wash away your worries. Fire up your power washer and blast away every speck of dirt and grime you can find. Release the pressure with Power Wash Simulator. When is this out? This comes out, this comes out this year. Q1 2021 is what it says, which means like probably like three years. No way this is, oh my fucking god, this is the best thing ever. I, I need to like, I can't... This is the fucking best, this is the best thing ever. How do I get this? I want this right now. Q1 2021 means the game's done. The game is done. How do I get it? I need this game. I'll watch Simulator, you're gonna see it on this channel. The second it releases. And I mean literally the second that it comes out. I don't care if it's, it comes out at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm playing it when it comes out. But here it is. We're gonna do career mode. We can't hear you. Yes, you can hear. I'm, I can see the indicator. Uh, clean the van is first one. Great news. Finally found a van for you at, at, at one of the auctions under your budget. Don't freak out when you see it. It looks like it's just been dredged from the bottom of a lake. Oh, I can't wait. But that's a good thing. It meant no one else bid on it. They missed out. Underneath that hideous layer of gunk is your perfect workhorse. Engine's a dream, no rust. There's even equipment in the back. Just needs a good hosing down and you're in business. You'll certainly earn your pressure washing stripes getting this thing clean. This is, oh, there's a five-star rating and you earn money? This, okay, I'm gonna, let's just be really, really clear. This, when did this game come out? This year? Was it 2020 or 2021? When did it actually, well, is it, is it out or is it in early access? <clears throat> this might be the best game of the year for me. We'll find out. All right, select nozzle. Raise lower tablet is escape. Okay, selecting nozzle. Select extension. Select soap. There's different soap categories. Inventory. Rotate nozzle. Refill cleaning fluid. Show dirt. Walk, crouch, jump. Oh my god. There's way more going on in this game. All right, that's fine. So what do we do? Spray? All right, I just like stripped the paint. 
That was way too much. Oh my god, that's loud. Hold on. <clears throat> if you did that to a car, you would rip the paint off. The power washer needs to come down. Water reverb. Turn the reverb down. All right, there we go. That's fine. I think that should be good. That's better. Oh my god, I love it. How do I change nozzle? Oh, I only have the stubby gun. 15 degree, 25 degree, 40 degree. All right, this actually might be like the best game ever. This is what you. I, this is the one I watch. I watch so many videos of people doing this shit. You have no idea, guys. I will open up a power washing video, or like a wood cutting video, and just let shit auto play for hours. I actually have a quick story for you. We're talking about auto playing, and maybe think about it. Um, so like a week or like a week ago, I was watching TV, and oh, we're gonna hey, we're gonna go into a story here. <coughs> What's wrong with my voice? Hold on. <clears throat> We're gonna go into a story. Uh, so I was auto-playing videos lying on the couch and I don't turn auto-play off. I know I just turned it off, but I always forget to and for some reason I'm never logged into YouTube never logged into I'm never logged into any service. So Even if I change it, I'm not gonna be logged in the next day, so it doesn't matter So I'm on the couch lying down. I just had a big meal of fucking Burger King Just kidding. It was McDonald's. I don't eat Burger King and I fell asleep on the couch to auto-playing videos, and I believe it was cooking stuff. I woke up maybe 20 minutes later, and I was in that mode in my brain where I just, I could not move. You know, when you just, you just don't feel like it, nothing will make you get up besides like a fire alarm, right? It's just like, I don't care what's happening, I don't care what sounds are playing, I'm just gonna keep sleeping. So, I heard counting. It was like, oh, like 2,448. 2,500, who the fuck is counting? And I just went back to bed. I was like, I don't care, I don't care to turn it off, I don't even know what it is. So I got up with like a second or third time, and I, I, I looked up and I was like, what is it, why is binging with Babish on the TV? And I hear 30,345. 30, I thought it was binging with Babish doing like a counting video, so I was like, I, I don't, I don't care. And I just I went back to sleep. And then later on, like the next day, I was like, I'm curious, like, bit, like, what the fuck was that? And I watched on autoplay asleep the entire Vsauce Michael Prime number video. He's, it's like a four hour video. He says every single Prime number up to like 40,000. <laughs> and it woke me up like three times. And each time I'm just like, shut, who's fucking counting? Stop counting, please. But I was too lazy to actually get up. So I had, I, I feel like that like gave me like a headache or something. That may have changed me forever. And I, I don't know why we do that shit. Why do we do that shit to ourselves? And I, did you hear auto? Hold on, let me get auto. Auto! There has to be a scientific reason for it, but the act of, of waking up like 20% the halfway, whatever it is, it's like your alarm on your phone when it goes off. It's like, oh yeah, I sleep through my alarms. Like you just don't care about anything but sleeping. Hearing four hours of prime numbers was not enough for me to just just to roll over and pick up the changer or the phone and, and turn off the TV. That was too much work. But I just suffered, and I say suffered wrong. But it was so bizarre, my brain was trying to piece it together. It was like, why is Babish doing this? Like, what? what is this? I thought I was dreaming. Oh, this is gonna be a good one right here. I love this. Ah. Oh. I hope there's wicked dirty houses too. I'm gonna switch nozzles and stuff. I gotta do the first coat first though. You're zerking off to power washing porn. No, I love these videos. They really are. They, if you really have trouble sleeping, you know, oh, I have like the, the beach sound effects. I have the, oh, it just plays the ocean. It just plays the outside. No, no, no. I want log cutting videos. Because every, every like hour, one, of, one eye will open. And I'll just open one eye and just see like, oh, yeah. And then I'll go back to bed. I love this game, by the way. This is so much fun. So the body's still dirty. I gotta switch nozzles. What does this one mean? That's force. <laughs> this is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. This is such a fun game. Just go outside. What do you mean, just go outside? This is... Uh, you're using that wrong. That term, you're using that wrong. I don't have... A car to power wash. This is not like I'm not playing like soccer or football or anything. 
Dude, just go outside. I, this is a, an elaborate power washing device. I don't have one of these. I'm make, I'm getting it 100%. There's a removals van outside my nightmare neighbor's place. They're finally going. Whoever moves in there is going to need a quality pressure washer. I'm your guy. That's my favorite part right there. No, no I got to do it with... <sighs> That's my favorite part of any car wash. Because the water just like spins all in there and gets all in there. Flies around out in your face and stuff. I love it. You got a raid? Who raided? Oh, RT Game Prod! What's going on, RT? Thanks for the raid. What's going on, RT Gamers? RT is a swell, swell lad. If you do not follow RT, what's wrong with you? Oh, thanks a lot, dude. Welcome, everybody. Raid song. I don't do raid songs anymore. At this point, the raid song is becoming like a fucking reunion show. You understand? Like, how many times do you want me to do the raid song before we go through like 10 seasons of raid songs? And now it's just so- I don't even want to hear the raid song anymore. Press R to rotate. Oh my god, thank you for saving this whole stream. This is just one of my- I'm living one of my favorite videos. I can just see like the dirt kicking out underneath that flap. I love it. This is so good. This might be boring to watch. Oh, whatever. This is the rest of my life is right now. You can crouch too? There's a crouch? Oh my god, I, I, I love it. I- okay, I gotta stop being like the person at the restaurant that tries everybody's plate. And goes, mm, oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, so good. Wow, what did, you, what did you get? And the worst part is when you get somebody that does that. And you can tell that they like your food way more than their food. So they start like, yeah, yeah, go try mine. Try mine. I'm going to give you a bunch of my spaghetti. It's like, oh, I don't want all your spaghetti. Now try my spaghetti. And then you realize that they gave you a huge portion of their food. So now you are obligated to be like, oh, well, you know, here, I get, have, you might, you, you gave me a lot of, your have some of mine. Oh, yeah, oh, sure, I'll try it. And they scoop off like half of your fucking plate. Like, you didn't get the fucking, you didn't, like, sorry, you got the filet mignon. I got the, come on. <laughs> what restaurant are we in, by the way? <laughs> That's not relatable anymore. <laughs> That's no longer relatable. What? <laughs> Because I said filet mignon. No, let's change it to McDonald's. I love that place. And that happens to me all the time. Billionaire Billy. No, that's not what I mean. I was just saying a random food. I bet you eat caviar. I think caviar is fucking disgusting. I'm sorry. I don't... I think that's gross. I'll tell you why I think caviar is disgusting. It has nothing to do with how the thing tastes. The reason why I think caviar is disgusting is the same reason why I wouldn't open up 12 eggs and scoop them out into a fucking cup and drink them like a bodybuilder. No, I don't want to- I don't want to eat raw eggs. I don't want to just, like, drink eggs. Why am I getting question marks? Do you guys know what caviar is? You actually- have you actually tried caviar? Who? <laughs> yeah, oh, who? Who's that? Who- are you hooing caviar? Why are you hooing caviar? It's- it's not like a streamer. Jeremy, stop, you're not using any soap. What? I don't- you don't- what do you mean soap? I don't need soap, it's a power washer. It's just the pressure of the nozzle takes out all the dirt, all the grime, all the filth, and you don't need soap. Isn't that what they say in the commercials? All done with the power of steam and liquid. Yeah, you don't need soap. I mean, that was a really just half-assed impression, but I'm, I'm busy enjoying this. You're gonna need to- you're gonna need to go with that business name, or you need to think something up. I'm phenomenal. I thought of grouting Thomas for that Tyler, and she's never looked back. No, they really are hitting a, a, a completely untapped market here. All right, so what do, I, I see a red canister. Oh! I would never shoot a pressure washer at, at like a propane tank. This is going to be such a huge moment for me. I love it. Here we go. Stop saying I love it. Stop taking people's spaghetti. Door is clean. Everything's clean here. Window, door, glass. What's that? What else? Oh, right here. This is gross. Got it. Okay. 99% cleaned. What? 99%. Alright, where's the rest of it? Press tab. Oh, shit! I feel like that's kind of cheating, don't you think? It's just cheating vision. It is. I'm pressing tab, I don't see anything. Oh, it's the tire. Oh my god, how, how am I ever supposed to get all that? Another tire? Yep. I did it. Job complete. Open the tablet. Wait, is that showing everything I did? That's awesome. 
It shows the video of what you did. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Clean the back garden. Power washers. This is what I have right now. Surface encrusted embedded. This is awesome. This is awesome. Everybody at the dinner table, give me all of your plates. I'm eating all of your food. All of it. I, you know what? I'm eating everything. I want to try all your food till there's nothing left on the plate. And I'll give each of you 50 bucks. That fair? Fair. <laughs> Why don't I just order food? Like, okay, I, see, I think I know what you mean. Like, why would I just give everybody $50? Why wouldn't I just order the, everybody's entrees? Because the entrees were like 30 bucks, 20 bucks. Why wouldn't I just order three or four of the things that they had? I see what you mean. Yeah, okay. All right, let's keep going. Garden time. Let's do it. This one's going to be fun. I'm going to clean the grass, too. Uh, Doc, I hope you like a challenge because I'm pretty sure I've got the dirtiest backyard you've ever seen. It's not me bragging, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. I just moved back to town for a bit to help my folks. We're both down to their last knee and rented what I thought was a great little place. Anyway, my girls are itching to get out there. I don't want them still itching when they get back. All right, I'll clean the grass. <laughs> what the fuck happened in here? Tell the neighbor to come on and be like, what the hell? Why is there a bunch of drawings? I'm just going to draw like, fuck you on the side of their house. Oh, this is stuff. I can't. I have to say it, but I, oh, I don't want. Okay, I'm not going to say it. Are you guys going to be ordering dessert? No, no, I'm stuffed. How come we just can't say no? Just say no, I don't want dessert. No, fuck, just get waiter. I, whew, oh, I would. Oh, I, I just like so much food. Look at all this. I'm so stuffed. Just say I don't fucking want dessert. Why does it make us look bad? I, I, I always make up like an elaborate story as to why I don't want to order dessert. I don't want the waiter to think I'm like a weirdo or something. Quit saying we when it's only you. No, I know a lot of people do this shit, not just me. You're crazy. I'm. I don't know, I always have this thing in my brain where we'll, if, if you, if like a waiter or waitress comes over and they're like, oh, so would you like to see our dessert menu? And it's like, no. It's just like, oh, well, you don't even want to look at it? Why? I, I don't want it. I know that's never going to happen, but it's this weird thing in my brain that it's going to happen. So instead of having to say no and be like, well, you don't want to even look at it? I just go, I make up like an elaborate tale of why I can't eat dessert today. Say no, thank you. I know that's simple, but I, I ha there has to be like a reason why I can't eat it. Like I lean back and I, I put my hands on my belly and I like rub it and I go, oh, I would, but whoa, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that's, that's weirder. Did he get to the horror part yet? Oh, ban that guy. Is that real? I'm just kidding. Don't ban him. I know it's not real. If you say whoa, ho, 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 at a waiter, you should tip them fifty dollars. Uh, my base line of tipping is at least twenty percent. That's the base. It only goes up from there. <laughs> I hate... Okay, what I'm saying right now is the equivalent of... So if we go to a restaurant or something, if you go somewhere, you sit down with some friends and... That's like actually telling the waiter. Oh, by the way, I just want to let you know. I'm a good tipper. Doesn't that always seem to be the case that that person tips like 12%? Or like 8% or something. That's a lot of community subs. Uh, Void880, thanks for the... Hold on a minute. Hey, Void. Hold on. Hey, Void. Hey, Void880, thanks for the community subs. But no, I I know that saying that I tip well means I don't tip well. I just think I do for some reason. It's like, well, yo, you think you think like 7% is a good tip? Of course I think it's a good tip. What do you mean it's a, it's a tip? It's a very generous tip. They forgot to fill my water, by the way. They didn't fill my water up twice. I mean, did you look at you see how many people are in this place right now? I thought the waiter was was pretty good. No, I, I and and you know I heard a sneeze. I heard a sneeze. So I it, I don't I don't I'm not I don't like this place. Nice Ron. My dentist uses this one. I th I know we have talked about this, but there's a lot of new people on this channel, and we have to go over this again. Every everybody here hates getting their teeth scaled, right? They fucking hate it. Everybody here. Is it, am I, right? No, 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 I actually like, see, this is what I don't understand. There are a bunch of people that like this, getting their teeth scaled. That, it sucks. It's horrible. It's one of the worst things I've ever, it's one of the worst fucking things. Scaling, okay, if you don't know what scaling is, it's that little knife hook that they scrape your teeth gum line with. It's the worst thing on earth. Yeah, I, I hate it. Who wants that? There's a bunch of people that like it. 
It's at least like 20, 30% of people that actually like it. I know a handful of people that I've come across, friends, family. I, I know people that like it. They're like, oh yeah, it feels good. But the reason why I bring it up is because they have one. It's like a water scaler and it goes like this. And they do that like all over your gums and stuff. And I much prefer it over the scraping. Sorry, I don't go to the dentist. Well, then you missed out on the goodie bag. Don't tell it, no, 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 don't tell him about the goodie bag. Never been to the dentist before. You missed out. Mm-hmm. And people that have no idea what I'm talking about, they're like, what do you mean the goodie bag? Oh. <laughs> Listen to these people talking about the, the no goodie bag? Okay. I still get the goodie bag. <laughs> Alright, tell me if I'm crazy, because I need to know. Did you guys, when you were a kid, go to the dentist? And after you were done, you got to go to, like, the toy center. And they had these little, like, small, cheap toys. It was like a big treasure chest that you could go, like, get toys from. That was awesome. That was the best part. When I still go to the dentist, when they're done, I go, Oh, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cotton in my mouth. Uh, you can I get a toy? Can I go to the toy box? And it's not even weird. They don't even care. <laughs> okay, don't do that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to... Here's the thing about those toys that you got from the dentist. I... I have this, like, memory. I can't remember any of them. They were all so... Strange. It was like a device where you pressed a button and it made little water come up, like colored blue colored water or something. Like I, they don't even real toys. But I'm, one of them had like a, I, I'm, I'm making this up, but a string attached to like a little bicycle thing and you turn the wheel and the string would fly around. I, I don't remember any of them. They were only in the dentist office. I've never seen them ever again. The sticky hand. Oh yeah, they did have sticky hands. You're right. Bouncy balls. I don't remember bouncy balls. I remember the weird, like the rings. Yeah, it was the thing with the. I remember that in the water. All right, this is still dirty, but I'm gonna have to come back to it. There's still a shitload of dirt on here. Where is it though? Oh, <laughs> I've done that before. I've done that before. How many of you guys have, have, have done yard work or helped it around the house? I've done that a bunch of times. Or you don't. You just don't do the insides. You just do this. And you don't do the insides or the back. You should do that while painting. Well, I mean, with paint, you have to paint the fence. You can't just... <laughs> what? So the only... Yeah, it's, uh, when we were... I don't know what... Something when I was like a teenager for some reason. But just being able to view it from this angle and it looking clean was enough for me to think that my parents weren't going to care. Just this picture, this snapshot was like, I did it. It's done. Oh, yeah, it is done. And then it, like that's all it took for them to look. That only worked for about two minutes before they came outside. And the weird teenager brain was like, yeah, that's enough to like fool them to, for me to be able to like, uh, ride my bike down the street now. I already told you guys how I mowed the lawn and everybody thought I was crazy. How I used to mow the lawn was, I thought it was a genius idea, was I just did a giant circle. And just every time I kept going, it, I went a little bit more further on the line and I just kept going in a circle, circle. Circle, 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 till it was done in the middle. That's how you do it. Yeah, but the correct way is you go is like You're not supposed to be like just do a big spiral, right? All right, if you hired somebody to do this and you looked outside and they were going like this, but they still did the job well. What's the scenario? Like, let's say they did that. Is the scenario you? Don't call them back. You just go, thanks, I appreciate it, thanks for the power wash, and you just don't call them back to do it again. Or do you say, hey, stop doing that. Alright, how many of you guys used to stand out here like this, and pretend you had a flamethrower? Oh! Spray it up and down, it would, I remember, I remember like, uh, if you stood like far enough away, so let's say for instance, if like, if somebody was like there, like where the, uh, the birdhouse is, I remember my brother used to stand really far back and just go like this. And it would I, there would just be this mist that would overtake the whole area. Did I ever tell you guys about how I used to put on hockey equipment and my brother used to like throw baseballs at me? <laughs> I did, right? Let me give context, let me give context. Context, context matters. Listen, listen, wait, 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 wait. I, uh, the context matters, just wait. So, uh, I have an older brother and he was a pitcher. So he was like, when he was younger, he was like, you know, in, in middle school and high school, he was a pitcher. He played on the baseball teams and stuff. And I, I played baseball too, but I wasn't nearly as good, right? So he always wanted to practice pitching, but 
at the house, it was just like, oh, who do you practice with? Uh, like, oh, do you want to like practice? I, I want to like try some new pitches. And I was not very good. And I was like, I was always so scared of, of getting like drilled with a baseball. So we put me in a bunch of hockey equipment, like a hockey mask, hockey pads. I looked ridiculous. I had that bunch of like a football pads on, helmet, everything. And I would just sit out there with a glove and he would just th like just gun him at me, like just whip him at me. And like it would be like, Ugh! like it would hit me in the chest sometimes because I couldn't catch very well. But I wanted to like help. I wanted to like let him practice. Half the time the ball would just hit me like somewhere in the chest or like the knees or like the face. But I had a ton of, I was covered. I think I even had pillows all over me too. Yeah, I, we, we, we like taped pillows to my arms and stuff. So like it didn't matter. And on the one or two times that I caught it, it just, it would hurt. It hurt. And like, I kind of didn't want to catch it. Because it'd be like, he'd be like, all right, here comes another one. I'm going to, I'm going to try fastball. And it'd be like, oh, that sucks. This sucks. So eventually I just like started pretending like I was terrible and just let them hit me in the chest and like the face and stuff because it didn't hurt. You're explaining the story from the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> this happened though. I This actually happened. And it got to a point where he would he, he would be like, you know, it'd be after school or something. He'd be like, hey, hey, Jeremy, you want to put the hockey pads on? And I'm like, yeah, I want to put the hockey pads on. And that translated to a bunch of different activities that I, I, I could just, I was going to never get hurt. I would never get hurt. It was a, like a little brother suit of armor that I would put on. Would he beat you up in the gear too? I mean, like maybe sometimes. <laughs> like he would just like, like scoop slam me or something. But it was, it was, we were like doing something. It was like, oh, we're going to play uh, like fighters or something. Oh, I'm going to get the hockey pad. Like, if we were going to do any outdoor activity and it required us to like do anything really active, I would, I would probably just put the hockey pads on because I just didn't want What do you mean sometimes? Eating you up. No, no. This was like we were having like fun as brothers and it was like you know what i'm just gonna i'll put i'll put the pillows on my arms just in case i'm not i don't get hurt repressed memory i just told you that it was like it was fun to put the hockey pads on and like play baseball and like run outside and do weird shit and like play fighters and stuff guys they made a, a product called Sockum Boppers. Uh, okay, oh, what, what are you talking about? Your, your brother used to like, you used to put pillows on and your brother you would like throw, you, uh, uh, hold on a minute. Wait, wait, there was a fucking product where you put these air gloves on and beat the shit out of each other. That, this was not abnormal. Sockum Boppers, Sockum Boppers, it's more fun than a pillow fight. Yeah, you put on these kids boxing gloves and just beat each other up. Memory unlocked? I. And now that I think about it, it's like, so there was a company that they really wanted to, oh, like a pillow fight, like people, like, uh, like brothers and sisters or a party or something. You're like just hitting each other with pillows. Yeah, that, you know, you've got to be careful. Let's make kids boxing gloves. It's like, wait, what? There was no ad. Your brother made a fake ad so he could beat you up with those. Well, when my brother was fucking like 12 or 13 or something, he sure was like a really great, like, engineer of plastic material. I don't know where he did that. And, well, that's very interesting. He had his own, like, factory, I guess. Oh, that's very interesting. Oh, that's right, a dirt vision, right? Sorry, I said to take a quick shower. Stop juggling. <laughs> What's the age difference between you and your brother? Uh, 30 years? <laughs> Somebody in a pre-stream was just, I caught it. I caught it. I, I Look, I saw it. They said, what the fuck is that from? Please tell me. I need to know. I, I, I can tell you. An old sound effect. They used to put in lots of stuff back in like the early 90s, mid 2000s, early 2000s. The one where it's the most prevalent is the first boss of the Simpsons arcade game. He goes, and it's been stuck in my head for years and I can never get rid of it. And I just do it sometimes. But it was, it was used a lot. I just got here. Has he been funny yet? Oh my god, you have no idea. You missed so many funny stories. You missed so many funny things. You missed like I couldn't put the nozzle on right for like 20 minutes and everyone was like pretending Pog, he's pretending Andy. You, it was awesome. Wouldn't this fuck up the lawnmower? I have to imagine that spraying water inside of an engine is probably not a good idea. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, I guess I could... I'm gonna take advantage of this. Okay. 
I would just open up the back slider at this point, like the back door or whatever, and just be like, Oh, there's a ladder in the garage, dude. Do you need it? I've been watching you since 2013. Uh, that's very surprising to me. Because after seven years of a TV show, we keep using that magic number of seven. After the seventh or eighth season of a TV show, usually people start to get a little tired of it. So, I, I'm surprised that ten years later, the TV show still exists. But you're a person. Yeah, but still, I mean, usually there's a pretty finite amount of time that is super quote, 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 media is seen as worth watching, right? Jeremy, you're the Simpsons of the internet. Don't say that. Don't say that. I think there's like, I think there's like 30 people that still watch the Simpsons. I wouldn't say that. It could be a great show. I have no idea. There's a really small amount of people that really enjoy that show still, and it might be the best television out there. I have no idea. I haven't watched it in probably 10 years. I've not seen a single episode of The Simpsons since probably like 2008. They definitely have your 18, 18.8K Andy. Well, I didn't say my, I did not say my show was better than The Simpsons. I didn't say I have more viewers than The Simpsons. I said that maybe three people watch The Simpsons. In every city, in every town, in every state, in every country, in every province. I did not clarify what I meant by that statement. So in, in actuality, it's probably like a 800,000, 600,000 people. Simpsons for every home. I, I'll tell this story because it's kind of interesting. So I was at the uh, I was at the pet store. This is literally yesterday. I was at the pet store. I needed to get something for auto, and I did not know where the object was. I didn't know where the item was. So I walked up to what I thought was one of the employees, and I was like, "Excuse me, uh, do you? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get like a, the the dog beds that have the, the to have the thing so my dog can walk up the stairs." Because Otto has like, you know, I don't want him to be jumping or anything, so I want him to be able to go on one of those ramps, and sometimes they sell them at the pet stores. So I'm like, oh, do you guys uh, ha sell those? And and the guy goes, I don't, I don't work here. I was like, what? And then the person that they were with was like, are you Germa? <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, I, I thought you were an employee. And I, I actually went like, oh, uh, uh what, what, what do you mean, Germa? Who's that? And they were like, Germa Twitch. And I was like. What's Twitch? <laughs> and they were just like, I, I it's this play, you don't, are, you're not Germa? And I was like, and I just went, oh, look at me. And I did the look at me thing. I don't know. I was like, oh, maybe I'll like be funny about it. And they were like, you are fucking Germa, you liar. And I was like, yeah, it's me. So I, I just like, was like, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I thought you were like, I thought you've worked here. Cause they had like a similar shirt on as like what the what one of the employees had on and, and they were like no and i'm like i'm sorry i didn't mean to uh <laughs> this is real i swear to god and no they were really nice they were really cool it's that rarely ever happens by the way I've, i wanted to talk about it though the roof is done all right i gotta get off the roof stop doing the roof but yeah it was uh it was, it was really they were really nice they were really sweet about it i took a picture and i was like oh that was cool but i just felt like it Asshole. I felt like an idiot. It's a cringe streamer moment. <laughs> What's the weirdest place you've been recognized? Um, probably in one of the casinos here. It happened to, like, a couple years ago? It was just like, Hey! I know you. And it was like, oh, alright. That was it. That was literally it. They just, like, knew that it was me. No, like, we didn't talk about really anything. It was just kind of like, yeah, yeah, I know who you are. And then they just like they just went on with their rest of the Oh no no somebody screamed at me. Somebody screamed at me. Yeah, somebody screamed at me from a car. Oh, I fucking forgot about this. I was at a mall and somebody like was in the parking lot of the mall and they like drove by and they were like, Jarma! And I was like, what the fuck? Who's who is that? This was this was like three or four years ago, I think. They screamed my name and they were in a car. And it scared the shit out of me because I was like, wait, who? Huh? And I think I just waved. I was like, hi! That was it. That was it. It was not like, oh, hey, like, like, let, let's stop and like, hey, are you? No, nope. They just screamed my name. Uh, oh, hey, whoever you were, I, I mean, like, you screamed at me. And that was it. And no, I like, if anyone's like wondering, if you're like curious, oh, I don't care. I don't care. If, if like, if you see me out in public or something, if you happen to think it's me or something, you're like, hey, I don't want to like, I don't want to bother. He's probably so busy. Oh my god, he's probably so. He's probably. Oh, he's like the streamer. No, I'm probably literally like going and buying like socks. Like I'm not doing anything important. If you were to like wave me down and be like, hey, are you? I'd be like, yeah. 
I'd probably talk to you for a little bit. Wouldn't be like it. Uh, that doesn't bother me though. So if, if you're if you ever do see if you see me out in public, you know, I don't care. As long as you're not like fucking weird. Like, if you're not if you're not weird about it, I don't care. Don't be weird about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, le yeah. Let me be the weird one. Let me be the weird one. Don't be weird. But I would use that as a blanket statement for everything though. Just don't be weird. You know what I mean? I'm really happy to like talk to people and hang out with people just for like a little while or something. But like, I just don't be weird about it. Like, I'm, I, I'm, I, won't, I don't want to, I don't want to be weird to you, right? But I did say, I did do like look at me in the middle of a pet store. But like, whatever. Like, whatever. Let me be the weird one. <laughs> All the people there must have been like, what the fuck is going on? Who is this guy? <laughs> if I see you in real life, can I give you bits or subs? No. No, I, I literally will not, I will not accept that. What about a gift card? If you give me a gift card, I'm going to do what everybody does with gift cards. And I'm going to put it into my wallet and forget it's there for a year or two. And then by the time I want to use it, the store that you gave me the gift card to, I, I probably not even, I probably don't even have one near me anymore. Like, I may have, like, moved across, like, the state lines at that point, and that store doesn't even, I, I don't have one of those near me. Oh, sunflowers! I have those. <laughs> Congrats! <laughs> Yeah, did you, did you get it? Yeah, that, that was my that was my way for you to be like sunflowers. What do you mean sunflowers? Germ of sunflowers, and then I get to tell you about all my gardening. I'm annoying. I'm really annoying. Look, I'll just tell you about it, and then you can just look at your phone and say every last word of every sentence that I say. Okay? So I have sunflowers, and I've got four in a big pot, and they are just barely going into adulthood, and. I'm really into it. I think it's a really cool thing. They're very big. They're going to be probably six feet tall. Uh, I don't know. The, I forget the exact name. I think they're... Uh, I gotta get, I don't want to say the, the wrong name. But they're going to be really tall. I go out there every day. <laughs> uh, you're like on your phone. Someone's telling you a story. You're just typing away. Yeah, and uh, so it really was really cool uh, when they came over and... Uh, uh, <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, dude? Do I have any other flowers? Oh, uh, I have a... I have a money tree. That does not stay outside, though. The money tree is uh, inside. They're really cute. It's a, it's a little one. It's one of those uh, small uh, braided ones. I have a few succulents that sit in a little container. And then I have... I don't know. It's like a, it's a little, like, polka dot plant. I forget what it's called. But it's this little... It's, it's, it's small. It's maybe about as big as a baseball. It has green, pink, polka dot leaves. It's almost like the channel colors. It's really cool. And I take good care of them, and I love them very much. Jesus, he's still playing video games. So did you expect me not to be playing games anymore? I still play games, like occasionally, right? I play games like this, because this is sick. Play backgammon next? I don't, even, I don't know how to play backgammon. Backgammon was always a game that somebody had in their house as a display. I never took it out of the box. Gambling stream when? Isn't gambling, isn't like gambling on Twitch now? Yes. Slots. Slots. You know, I really didn't, I thought, I never thought that slots were going to be a thing. I always knew that like, people, yeah, you could do it, but I never thought it would be, uh, honestly, I'll take, I'll take the loss on that one. I thought it was going to be Battleship. Honestly, I thought it would have been Twister before it would have been slots. When, we just went right to slots, huh? Oh, by the way, I forgot to say this. I watched the entire uh, movie of Son of the Mask last night. I don't know why. Do you know why? This is, I, this is weird to say. I don't, I, I, the movie sucks, okay? But listen, I wanted to watch all, like, the really shitty scenes in a row, but I didn't want to open up, like, ten YouTube tabs to watch just the scenes of the movie that I wanted to watch, so I just rented it. The best part of that whole movie is the part where he goes, You're just too good to be true, can't take my eyes off of you. You're just too good to be true, you're just too good. Oh, it's, it's so bad, I hate it, but I watch it all the time. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You're too good to be true. I know I love you so much. Yes, I watched Son of the Mask before Megamind. By the way, this is something I didn't realize about Son of the Mask. I've never seen that whole movie start to finish. Even, even 10, 20 years ago, whatever, when it came out. The, the, the actor with, J, with Jamie Kennedy, right? He only puts the mask on like twice in the whole fucking movie. That whole movie is, the, is a cartoon baby versus the dog. He puts the mask on twice in the whole movie. He puts it on the very beginning. And then at the very end, he doesn't ever put the mask on. He, it's like, what the hell? The dog has the mask on in the movie more than he does. What do you mean spoilers? Nobody cares. Stop spoiling, son of the mask. I didn't tell you the plot of the movie. I just told you that the, the, 
All right, so Jim Carrey was the mask, right? And oh my God, it's one of the best movies ever made, right? And we all can agree on that. That's that's a simple fact, right? I still just have to, I don't know why they made another one without having Jim Carrey be the mask. Like, well, why would you even do it? It doesn't make any sense. The movie is a really awful adaptation of the comic. Yeah, I've heard of that. That's the original. The original comic is like kind of like dark and awful, right? Does the comic have Jim Carrey in it? Um, wait, what? What are you talking about? No, no. It was for money. I guess, but the only reason why it made any money is because Jim Carrey was the mask. What about, about Sonic the Hedgehog? I thought he was good in Sonic the Hedgehog. I saw it. But this is another thing. Like, J look, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is. Jim Carrey's old now. He's like older. I wouldn't say he's like an old man, but he's. He's like 60 or something. You know, the stuff that he was doing in his late 20s, early 30s, like Ace Ventura and stuff. I mean, he, he's. He can. He's still got it. I think he's still got it. 90s Jim Carrey is peak. I'll tell you, and I mean this very, very much so. If there's no Jim Carrey, there's no Germa. I just, I'm serious. I don't do any of this stuff unless I thought he was really funny. I'm telling you, you're a Walmart Jim Carrey. Oh, that's fine. I, I will never. I, that, you, I, that, I will never be Jim Carrey. That's fine. Yeah, I don't care. In fact, don't even don't even use my name in the same sentence as Jim Carrey. Like, oh, you're a this Jim. No, no, no. D don't even say that. Remove me from Jim Carrey. That feels so good. I love this game. I know. I don't care if I keep saying it. Jim Carrey would be proud of you as their son. <laughs> All right, now we're getting weird. This now this is getting weird. It is now it's getting weird. What? What did I say before that made it weird? You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. I know I love you so much. I can't. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it again tonight. What do you say? Am I gonna what? What did that person say? Am I gonna what? Are you gonna go on schooled? Um, what do you mean? Schooled. Ms. Kiff's show. Oh. Oh, okay. Did I? I admit, does he want me to do it? <laughs> Are you guys just saying this? Is this- hold on, is this one of those things where, like, you get the streamer to say the other streamer's name, so then the other streamer then has to say and, like, react to me because I said the streamer's name? Is that what we're doing? Or did he actually say this? Ego Andy. I didn't say- I- what are you talking about? I didn't do it. I, 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 no, what about a- what about a banana? He said he hates you. <laughs> no, he didn't. I know that for a fact. I just watched that scene from Son of the Mask and it sucks. I know. So why don't you watch the whole movie to just... Here's the thing, I don't even hate watch stuff. That would be classified as hate watching, right? I don't even hate watch it. I'm- I'm like happy that I'm there. Experiencing it. I don't know, it's a, it's weird. It's not hate watching. Because I don't hate it. I'm just so intrigued by it. Does that make sense? What have happened to the card game? Are oh, you talking about Grotto Beasts? The card? The real card packs that you'll- the real cards you'll be able to open? Very soon? Is that what you're referring to? You're talking about the Grotto Beast cards that you'll be able to buy and have in real life soon? Is that what you're referring to? I mean, that's not, um, it's not ready yet, but it will be very soon. He always says soon. Yeah, soon could mean whenever. It can, it's soon as soon. Soon is when you, when you get it. Soon, okay, here, listen. Soon means real. That's all you need to know. Soon means it's real. This backyard's starting to look like a pretty good backyard. Your cousin from Boston. God damn it. I don't want to hurt the bird in here. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Okay, everybody get ready. It's time. Shoot the target in front of you and ready, go. Fuck! Now I lost. God damn it. That the kid next to me did it perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm just don't just let go. Why even do it anymore? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get to the end. Germ is bad at amusement park games. No, that happens every time. If you are doing that game and there's ten of you there and you're ready, you're lining it up and it's like and start. It's over. You lo you've lost. It's over. You've lost. If you if you if you end up in like we all do, there's one person that gets it right and they win. Gosh, maybe I should spell something. What the fuck? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Who, oh, who wrote this? Who wrote that?
What the heck are you doing? Oh my god. That's so funny. Aaron! Miss Kiff, I'll do it! I don't even know what I just agreed to. <laughs> Watch be like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, you're gonna, what, what's gonna happen is, uh... Oh no, what do you mean, oh no? Not, I'm not invited. <laughs> Did you guys just gaslight me? <laughs> oh no, now I look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> like accepting an invitation I was <laughs> never invited to. Oh man, alright, how do I fix this? I, I gotta fix this, what do I do? You just self-invited? I did I? I but was everybody just saying that? <laughs> just go offline, bro. Oh, I gotta go. I'm out. I'm, I'm out of here. Just agreeing to something that I, a I was probably never invited to, and b I don't even really know what it is. Your ego is showing. Is it? Oh, I didn't do anything. What did I do? Did I do something? Is being like a 20k Andy like fucking up my brain? I don't know. Is it? What do I do? Ms. Kip just said yes, next week. Next week? What do I have to do? I have to travel or something? What do we do? What? what? <laughs> Alright, stop. Alright, I stop lying. Stop lying. Are they lying? I just got pity invited. No, don't say that. Alright, I'm gonna stop addressing it. And if it's real, then I'll figure it out. If it's not real, then it was fun. And I'm sure it's a fucking awesome show. I really think it's probably really fun. You're old enough to be their grandpa. Am I? How old am I? They're saying you have to come in as the sus guy. <laughs> they want the sus guy? No, they don't. That would be hilarious if they actually did, though. <laughs> he said hello? Well, I say hello back. Why is this like... Uh, um, okay. Oh, can you tell... Um, can you tell them that I said hi and I think they're cool? You just go tell them. I don't, I don't want to be your messenger. No, you do it, right? I'm saying it. Hey, what's up, Mizkith? How you doing? Hope things are going well. He's not even live. Oh. I'm being ga- yeah, I'm being gaslit. Alright, this is- whatever. Let's move on from this. We're gonna move on. I'm looking forward to- I don't even- I- alright, cool. This might be fun. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. Let's- sure. Let's do it. What is it? I don't know. Uh, that sounds good. You're a sussy baka. You seemed pretty hyped that you said yes, he's pogging. Oh, alright. That's- yeah, cool. What are you doing? I'm power washing. The quiz show on school questions. Oh. I w okay. Is it actually like that? Because what if I get every single question wrong? Am I going to look bad? Oh, shit. I got to, like, study or something. When is this happening? I got to figure it out. I got to make sure I can even do this. I might have to do it the next time they do it. It's every Monday. All right. Let, let me, let, let's hold on. All right. Wait, let, let's I'll figure this out. You're late. Hurry. <laughs> oh, shit. I got to get over there. Uh, what's my first question? What genus is the canine family from? Arachnophobia. Kick him off the fucking stream. I'm gone. No, I got nothing to hide. Like really, like if, if you if everyone thinks I'm stupid, whatever. I uh, if, if I can't answer like a fourth grade fourth grade whatever. If I can't answer that question, then I can't, and that's what I, that's the way it is. <laughs> oh no, I'm regressing into a fourth grader. I'm I'm method acting. I'm getting ready. 100%. He'll have you on. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. Maybe if it's not this time, then I don't want to just fucking just jump in and be like. Oh, you said yes? Okay, I'll see you tomorrow! Like, no, if they got plans, they got plans. I'll do it one of the other times or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I, I make- I have no plans, guys, with, when I do anything with anybody. You come over and have lunch with me sometime. Uh, no. I will not. I'm sorry, but I don't do that. I can help you pick out what you eat for lunch today. About, um... About a turkey club. That sounds kind of good. Doesn't it? Somebody said, is this a mini game? When's the- what's the actual game? Yeah, this is a minigame. This is a, uh, there's like a new shooter that came out. Um, there's like a side game where you can like actually just go power wash stuff. It's like a backyard, like, um, like water, like battle game. You get the different nozzles. This is like a shotgun. And it's just like you spray like each other with water, like super soakers. But it is a second game that lets you kind of use all the available stuff to use in the actual game. You can come and just power wash. It's really cool. I'm really into it. Uh, the game's called Soaker Sloshers. But this is like a power wash thing that they have in it, which is kind of cool. It's called Splatoon and it's real. No. The game is called Soaker Sloshers. And I'm playing the mini game. I'm playing the mini game of Soaker Sloshers. You know? <laughs> this is like when your parents see you playing GTA and you pretend it's a different game. What do you mean? Like you're in 
you're playing the golf or something in GTA and you just say you're playing a golf game. You just pretend GTA is a race game, racing game. <laughs> yeah, but then you have to play really well. Oh no, yeah, what are you playing in here? Oh, it's just, uh, it's just a racing game. Oh, and then you don't realize like you're, they're watching and you just ran over like three people and like crashed. Wow, really? The, what, that's in what you can, there's people you can, you, you hit someone. Oh, um, oops. How do you explain that one away? You can't. I don't even just want to just go here and just smell this water. I want, okay, so I want to be standing here. I want to be standing right here. I want someone to go like this, bounce it, so this just vapor goes right into my face. And I can just sit there and just, ah, savory, no, it's a, it's just water vapor that I just like to be near. No, I don't vape. I find it disgusting. Don't do that shit, okay? Like, I, 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 this is a, a, a public service announcement. Don't, don't, cut that out. Cut that out. Cut it out. Cut it out, Dad. No, cut it out. Cut that shit out. Cut it out. If you're thinking about quitting, if you're thinking about... Make this be the time you do it. Make this be the... Make this be it. That's it. That's just it. That's it. <laughs> what a shitty PSA. Hey, German985 here. Just want to say, if you vape, uh, just cut, cut it out. Cut that shit out. Stop doing that. All right. <laughs> Done. What if I power washed a real patio? Would you guys watch it? Like, if I, if I just, like, tried to find somebody that had, like, a really, like, kind of dirty backyard and dirty house, I just did it for free. I'd be like, hey, can I, like, just power wash your whole entire yard and do, and take, and, like, clean up your whole house? Yeah, I, you, I, 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 you just have to let me film in your house or in, on your, like, property. I don't need anything else. I don't care about anything else. You think people would do that? And I would sign a death waiver, too, you know what I mean? So don't worry about that. It'd be like, oh, what about that? No, I would sign, like, a death waiver. I guess like a fucking piano fell on me or something, don't worry. I think I would be pretty good at that. I really think I would do a pretty good job. Eat the BTS meal. What's what's a BTS meal? What what's in it? McNuggets? The 10 piece nugget with sauce. That sounds fucking great. I love the nuggets. I'm a huge McNugget guy, so that meal I I would eat that. I do have a question though. So a lot of people have meals at McDonald's, right? It's like, oh this meal, this like um these musicians or this these actors or is it gonna get? We're we gonna get to a point where just the regular McDonald's meal is just like celebrities. Instead of ordering like a Big Mac, you order like the it's kind of like you know like the the Larry David sandwich. Like oh, you just on the board. It's like it's Larry David. It's not like a uh, like a white fish sandwich. It's the Larry David. I do love nuggets though. What's the sauce? What's what? What's the difference? What's the what do you get for ordering that? It's like some Cajun sauce. Wait, is that did they have really? It's a cage, like a chili sauce, a Cajun sauce. Holy shit, that sounds really good. Is that a new sauce? All right, I kind of want that. It's a new sauce. Oh shit. Okay. Eat it live on stream. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna enjoy it on my own time. I don't want to eat on stream. I don't want to eat on stream. No, I want to enjoy my food on my own time. Go ahead, call me a coward. That's fine. I don't want to eat on camera. Do it as cat boy. I. Well, gonna have to ask Catboy. It's probably gonna be no. I just don't like people looking at me eating. Or anybody else for that. I don't- I don't- I don't want you to look at me chewing and hearing like the- <laughs> Someone's gonna make me laugh and I'm gonna go- <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Like, someone's gonna make me laugh really hard, I'm gonna have french fries in my mouth and I'm gonna go- <laughs> I fucking don't want that. No. Ooh. <laughs> Was that from? I, I already talked about it. 15 million off the dead if you eat nuggets as cat boy. That's not worth it. it doesn't even, that's not gonna make a dent. 200 million? No. No. Nope. I, guys, I don't even know where cat boy is. I don't even know. I have no idea. Half the characters that are made just fuck off and they just disappear into like the woods and shit. I don't even know where they go. Who made Bugleberry? I don't know. I I met Bugleberry. I found him on like Craigslist. What about, I, I don't I, I don't know who made Bugleberry. I hired him. Come on and read some scary stories. That's what it said he did. And he was really really kind of an interesting guy. So I was like, oh, I kind of maybe he'll come back or something, do some more stuff. He did like kids' birthday parties and everything. I, I there was he did he had a whole thing. I don't know where he's from. He's got these 
fucking urns, dude. I don't know. I don't know what any of that stuff is. He create. He doesn't just make characters for me. He makes them for himself, and he does uh, like summoning courses and stuff. And I don't know. I don't know what his daily life is like. I just know that sometimes I bring him on to make characters. It's really weird guy, but he's does. He's good at what he does. Why are all of his characters a version of me? Uh, well, because I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't feel like fucking streaming. And I don't know. He's he's been making different like characters and different stuff. I just, he has like whatever he has. He makes it however he does it. I don't I don't know. You think I watch Bugleberry streams? Are you out of your fucking mind? Those streams are horrible. I always leave when he comes on. Why do you think I've watched a Bugleberry stream? It's bizarre that you have. Yeah, if, if, if I know he's gonna be on, I'll just like let him go to the bathroom or something, or make some food, or just come back and see when he's gone. He's a smart guy. He's a he's an interesting guy, but I just don't want to watch him stream. Why does he stream? Because, like, I've told him a long time ago that he could do stuff on camera if he wanted to. And part of me hiring him required that he was going to be able to participate in some of the streams that I do. Or some of the broadcasting hours, right? What was the charity that Bugleberry donated to? Uh, that's actually a work in progress. I'll let you guys know exactly the exact amount. And what charity it is. You're going to pocket it? I'm not going to pocket it. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll give you sp the very specifics on all that stuff. I'm not just going to be like, yay, donated it to charity. Yep, that, yeah, I did. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll give you guys exact specifics of what it is. What just happened? Why did it clean it for me? I had like a whole section left. What did it do that for? Wait, what? You said you, somebody said I hate this game. Why? This is awesome. This is super relaxing. We hate games now? Well, you're probably going to hate them even more when the Ubisoft conference happens. That was uncalled for. Uncalled for. Un why did it do that? That was uncalled for. That was uncalled for. I don't need Why did I say that? I think it's because I hated Watch Dogs Legion so much that I just had to say that. He hates Ubisoft? Yes, I do. Do you want me to... I, should I just pretend like I don't? I do. But that's like... Too, that's, a that's a very strong way to word it. I don't hate Ubisoft. I just hate all their games. No, let me let me try that again. I don't I just don't really like their games. Okay. I've had fun with some of their games. Some of them. But for the most part, when an Ubisoft title comes out, I just go, no, I don't care. I just I don't I don't, I don't it doesn't do it for me. And hate is a is a too strong of a word though. Because I, I really don't. This will take ten minutes. Yeah, but I'm I'm being thorough. I'm being very thorough. I don't just wanna. I just yawned. <laughs> I tried to hide it. I think that's from the headache, though. That's not because I'm tired or I'm bored. That's from the headache. You know when you get like a really yawny headache? That's what it is. I swear to God I'm not bored. I love this so much. I just have a little migraine. It's starting to evolve into a big migraine. Which is annoying. But I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'll be good. Too much CBD? I have not taken any CBD today. Or yesterday, or the day before, or the day before, or the day before. Bong water? I don't... I, I don't smoke out of a bong. I don't smoke weed. I don't smoke weed, I don't. Somebody said if I ever unironically, not joking, smoked crack. No. I have not unironically smoked... How do you... I, how do you ironically smoke crack? What are you talking about? Have you ever unironically smoked crack? If you ever smoked crack, I would unsub. I... not... Don't worry about- I'm not gonna smoke crack. Dude, what are you talking about? Don't worry about that. Why would I ever tell you I smoked crack? That's not something that I would just start with one day. Hey, what's up guys? Yeah, I'm starting to stream. We're gonna be playing Fable 3 today. Uh, I smoked crack today. Unironically. Like I did it today. Unsub! Smoke crack or I will unsub. No. <laughs> I can't. I can't leave it. Okay, I'm gonna move on. <laughs> I'm done with that. You have any Huel? I got one right here. Yes! Okay, birdhouse? What's left? Checklist is in the menu? Okay, status. Okay, there's one fence post. That's it. Fence post? Which one?
Oh, I got it. $485! Oh, let's see. Pretty cool. Clean the dirt bike. I love these quick jobs. They're so much fun. Just feels so right, you know what I mean? Ooh, underneath here. Yes! Yes! Four! 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 Alright, 99%. Just a little bit in the guts. Good? No? Where the hell is it? The exhaust, the fairings, and the brake discs, okay? Brake discs? What is a brake disc? Yeah, it is. yeah, I got it. It's those. That was quick and easy $75. Clean the playground. Ooh, soap. Urban X U2 Turbo. Improves the range. Shit! I bought the wrong soap one. Alright, let's go. Oh, jeez. Look at this. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. I don't want to fuck this up. What's the dirtiest thing here? Soap the absolute hell out of this. Wait, is this fifteen dollars every time it goes to zero? Is it? Let me let me double check. Oh fuck that! Yeah, I'm not using this anymore. Go down the slide. Yay! I'm only at eight percent. What? Because all I did was use soap. Stop pretending. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? Play some music? Uh, yeah, what, what should we put on? What do you guys want to hear? How about the one that goes... Do, 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 do. Mm, no, not Doom. Something relaxing. Something we can just chill with. Supermarket sweep. Yeah, that sounds good. Ow, my fucking head. That hurts so bad. My volume's maxed. For you guys, that was 40% softer than what I heard. <laughs> oh, my ears. Okay, well, let's go. This sounds like every first Sonic level after 2005. Uh, something's auto playing. I don't know what it is. Let's find out. There we go. It's the supermarket sweep main theme. Wait, didn't we already do this? Like, fucking two or three years ago? I gotta have like fun music too, right? Like fucking let's go, here we go, like countdown music. Let's see, well, like like supermarket sweep music. Start the timer right now, let's go. Fix it up, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I remember this, we already did this. Same joke, Andy. No, it's been three years, that means we can do it again. <laughs> Mario Kart. <laughs> Super Mario Kart Shop. Super Mario Shopping Shop. I can't even fucking say your joke. It was funny when you said it, not me. Go faster. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I can't go faster. Go faster. I say you do a shitty rush job. I don't want to do a shitty rush job. Ding. Oh, that was a bad voice crack. That was supposed to be ding. Not ding. I wonder, what are we gonna get? Are we gonna get, uh, what era of Supermarket Sweep theme song are we gonna get? Wheel of Fortune, actually. Is this shit copyright? It probably is. This song, uh, these songs probably copyright. Yeah, this shit's copyright, I gotta get rid of this. Alright, what's next? I'm gonna skip, like, five times. Uh, this is called- this is- I don't know what this is. This is fucking awesome, whatever this is. This is- this is like- What is this? This is called The Savers? Is this super- no, this is not a supermarket thing. This is great. What's next? Skip, 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 skip. Skip, skip, skip. Alright, let's go to something else.
That was cool. Penis music? I'll do penis music for 10 seconds, okay? Turn it off before I fucking puke. Um, what's next? Speed run? What's good speed running music? Son of the Mask. I... I just want... I don't care. I just want to play the... You just go to be true! I have to do it. I have to. Nobody... Just plug your ears for a second. I just have to hear it that one second. I don't care. Be true. Take my eyes off. It is too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. It's the only part I want to hear. Is it? That's it. That's all I wanted to see. Okay, now what? Dirty Valley? <laughs> Vsauce Prime numbers. Vsauce Prime numbers. I can't believe I watched that entire four-hour video in my sleep. <laughs> no, I am not doing that. I'm not opening up that can of worms. I'm not just gonna have counting happen. It's a great video. Katamari? I feel like we always go back to Katamari. Always. Alright, you wanna go outside, Otto? Uh, I think Otto wants to go out. Uh, we'll take the first break. I'll be right back. See you in like two minutes while we figure out what to play on stream. It is too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. It is too good to be true. You know I love you, baby. American Bible Challenge theme song? I... I can't like... It's hard to find that. You gotta just watch like the first... Hold on. I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and this is the American Bible Challenge. Everybody just stand up. I can't wait. Everybody just stand up. Everybody put your hands up. And this is the American Bible Challenge. That, I, a computer wrote that song. You know what I mean? That's like algorithmically they just made that song. And I think that's Jeff Foxworthy singing it. I, you guys said no. I think it is. That's definitely Jeff Foxworthy singing. And this is the American Bible Challenge. The American Bible Challenge. Everybody put your hands up. It's the, it's the same person. that he. It's Jeff Foxworthy singing it. This is the American Bible Challenge. That's that's him doing that. It has to be. Why would it be anybody else? There's nobody else that could be. <laughs> I love that song so much. Everybody put your hands up. Everybody just stand up. Everybody put your hands up. Come on and stand up. Uh, oh shit, I forgot to put music on. Clown car music? No. Kirby's epic yarn. Sure. I'll try it. Kirby's epic yarn. True. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh shit. I'm getting a lot of everybody put your hands up. Everybody just stand up vibes from this. Oh, it doesn't go. It doesn't go. Dun, dun. All right. Yeah, that can stay on. That's fine. Drop it a little bit. It's a little loud. I'm gonna drop the sounds in this game too. Yeah, I want to be able to hear the stuff. Yeah, there we go. That's a good audio level. German doesn't know audio. German's so bad at audio. German's audio fucking sucks. German's audio is fucking terrible. I don't like everything. I go to German stream. It sounds like shit. I'm working. I'm working on it. I'm trying. I wasn't an audio guy. I was the vi I was the visual guy. I can't do everything. I can't do audio and visual. I can do visual and make the visual look all right. Everybody just stand up. Everybody put your hands up. I want to soak the fuck out of this. What the hell was that? Oh, I didn't like that. Did I do that? What happened? What the fuck was that? Someone just dropped something on the piano. Is that in the song? This is so loud. I didn't play this game. I didn't play any of the yarn games. They made like three of them. Play them all? No, I don't think so. I, th I mean, they're cool and everything, but no, I don't think so. You know why I don't want to play those games? 
Because if in the event that I don't like them, or I'm just like, eh, I don't want to sour how I feel about the way they look. Because if the games are just like, eh, if I don't, if I'm not into the game, I don't want there to be a scenario where I talk a bunch of shit about it and I talk about how the game sucks. I'd rather just enjoy it from afar. Oh, I'm done with this one. I'm skipping ahead. Alright, okay. This is same OST. What did I do? What just happened? Where am I? What? This is some kid shit. <laughs> okay. This is some kid shit. I hope this is relaxing. This is this is supposed to be a relaxing stream. If you get, while you're on the couch, just open one eye. And then you'll see, oh, where is he now? Oh, he's doing the garage door. And then just go back to bed. Please play Super Paper Mario. Oh, you know what? You know what? That person's right. Because I'm never going to play Super Ma Paper Mario on the stream. I'll put the Super Paper Mario OST on the stream. I think that's fair. Play the Among Us theme song with the one that goes... Yes, that one. It's I just did it. I don't need to put it on. Turn the, can I turn this clown music? Oh, this is Mario Party. What, I don't know, what, what, what game is it? Oh, what's this song? Mocha <laughs> ass! Somebody just say play Lisa. Play Lisa the Pan. I swear to God, some of you guys have bots that come into this channel and just write that. There's probably at least two or three accounts that once every month just paste it. It's just set up as an algorithm. Turn the webcam on. No. I'm not a webcam streamer. I'm a web- no, I'm a webcam streamer with an asterisk. Only when it makes sense. It doesn't have to be on all the time. It makes sense right now. No, it doesn't. Oh, please, I would love a webcam. No. How can he be so mean when playing his dream game? I just don't want to put a webcam on. Stop fucking asking for it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I know. Oh, Jesus. Are you kidding me? There's a ladder. Hey, Rick and Morty, season four coming up. I saw the trailer. Everybody else excited? So if I, I, this is what I understand. If all of you hate this show, who's watching the show? Redditors? But aren't Redditors, they, what, I don't know, you, wait, so what are you guys? What are you guys? Are you Twitchers? Twitch viewers? What do what, what Neckbeards. <laughs> do you guys only hang around on Twitch? I don't buy that. I don't buy that. Who's your favorite Twitch? I can't even talk. Who's your favorite Twitch streamer then? You like Twitch so much. Who's your favorite streamer? You're a fan of Twitch? Name every Twitch streamer. That's what I'm saying. Put on Near Automata. Alright. Oh shit. Alright. This is good. This sounds good. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, sorry. Near Automata. Near Automata full OST. Near gets copyright strikes from YouTube. Oh, oh well. Something else. Next. Uh, how about play Lisa? Play Lisa the Painful. You should play Lisa the Painful. You should play Lisa the Painful and stream it. It should be like a exclamation point Lisa that just says, "I will never play Lisa the Painful." So then I can put it in when the bots put it in. Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon battle music. That sounds good to me. Pokemon hype mix battle music. Get hyped with this compilation of some of the best battle songs from the Pokemon OST. <laughs> is this in, is this in the? Okay, this is not in Pokemon. This song is not in Pokemon. This is somebody remixed it. This is that song that goes. Who? This is a. Uh, what is it? The Chemical the Chemical Brothers? No, no. Who is it? Psycho Sabbatic got again saying. That's the song. 
fire starter, right? There it is. I'm a fire starter. Just a fire starter. What is the name of this song? Prodigy, yeah, all right. Uh, this is not in Pokemon. I know that for a fact. This is literally Pokemon. I don't believe you. This is from Gen 8. No, I don't like this. This 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 is not. It's the only kind of Pokemon music I like. I don't like new things. I don't like new things. I like old things from 1995. This is not even in Pokemon. Where's the one I like? Oh, where's the one that I like? Sonic the Hedgehog. I like this though. Yeah, this is awesome. I really like this one a lot. No, no, no. I want. I mean, this is this this playlist is cool. Here we go. Yep, this is it. This is exactly what I was looking for. It was not. No, nope, that's not it. Not it. Is this it? No, I want the one from Brawl. Is it? I think this is it. Fake Andy. What? The Brawl soundtrack is fire. The Brawl soundtrack is way better than all the other Smash Brothers soundtracks. It is equivocally the best one they've ever made. I, 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 nothing compares. It was so much better than everything else. Say what you want, like, Brawl, you might think Brawl sucks, but the music in Brawl was totally better than anything else I've ever done. Oh, fuck that. Let's just put on the Brawl OST. Fuck that. That's the one I want to hear. Do you, like, do you, do you, do you remember this one when you were wherever you were? Remember when you heard this? This one was the, this is one of the best songs on the whole soundtrack. Calm down, man. <laughs> I don't think I timed out for one minute. You're going so slow? Oh, I- what are you- I'm not going slow! I- I mean, I am right now because I'm trying- I can't move that fast. For some reason on the roof. You know what's funny? This would probably be... the background music for this video. If I was gonna have this on YouTube and I'm like a power washing guy channel, this is probably what it would be. Another classic. Another one. Every single song on the Brawl, what, can I, um, why do I, whatever. Every single soundtrack on the, oh my god, every, it's this, this song is speech jamming me. Every single song on the Brawl soundtrack was good. I never skipped one of them. <laughs> they were all good. All right, we're at sixty-nine percent. Everybody, yellow L, real quick. Oh my fucking god! Stop! No swearing. How many? There's a lot of Mario songs on the broth uh, track, aren't there? I didn't realize there this many. Seventy-four percent. Come on. Come on, you. You know what I'm? Come on, say it. Come on. Come on. That's when I hold the microphone out to the audience and everyone goes, Win! We kind of wanted to make a fake advertisement for a, like a comedy DVD or a comedy CD. And there's a huge audience and it's like the announcer guy, the infomercial guy is like, and, and, and such antics as. And it's this little routine of little stream jokes. Like an audience. Relive all those classic moments. Like, come on, Gwen. Oh, come on, come on, Gwen. And everybody's fucking is cackling in the audience. And they also about like the vault. We got access to the German 985 vault. After Resist State got it. Yeah, like they, you got, you, they got access to my vault. <laughs> wait, wait, am I supposed to be dead? <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't want to fall off. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get this guy a harness. You're not safe from a fall joke, even in this game. No, you're not. You're always at risk to hear a fall joke or see a fall joke, no matter what we're doing. Oh, fuck, whatever. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
What's this from? Mario's way cooler than Mickey Mouse. I'm sorry. Like if you if you want to have the thing that is just the universal, everybody loves it. Everyone. It's Super Mario. Like it's not Mickey Mouse. Fuck that guy. Donald Duck is way better, anyways. I, I can't think of anything so when you when you hear the word Super Mario. You don't think all you think about is oh that's I I feel very happy right now. I feel at peace for just a moment, even just a moment. When you hear Mickey Mouse, you also feel some joy for a moment. Mickey Mouse. Ooh, Mickey Mouse. And then you realize it's four dollars for a water at Disney. And it's, yep, uh, it gets a little bit sour in your mouth for a second. Because it must be on sale. <laughs> How much is a bottle of water at, like, Disneyland? Anybody know? Just like a Dasani bottle of water. Is it five bucks? Is it four bucks? Probably five bucks. Yeah, it probably is. So, when does the copyright run out for Mickey Mouse? You guys know that that's happening, right? I wonder what they're gonna do about that. Because your your local your local car dealership is gonna be able to have Mickey Mouse pop up and be like, "Oh yes, I love uh, Dave's Toyota" or whatever it is. Yeah, ain't Mickey Mouse gonna be up for a copyright soon? That's gonna be really really crazy. Imagine your local car dealership having Mickey Mouse in the commercial, and the guy that owns the dealership is doing the voice. You're gonna have to deal with that. Oh, come on down to Paul's, Paul's, uh, Emporium of all of land vehicles. Oh, yes, it's me, Mickey Mouse. Come on down and just save 20% on the neck on your first purchase. That's going to be horrendous. Paul, oh, welcome to Michael's Furniture Store. Oh, it's me, Mickey Mouse. Thanks for joining us. And uh, if you come in by a sectional. You guys ready for that? I don't think you are. Oh, jeez, Rick. And some of them aren't even going to give a shit. They're not even going to try. Mickey Mouse will be on screen. Animated. That's right. With two purchases, you get the third one for free. Tell them Bob sent you. Can you imagine when the copyright runs out, how many fucking commercials are going to be showing up with Mickey Mouse on them? It'll be every commercial. Every other commercial, once that copyright runs out, will have Mickey Mouse in it. He'll be in Olive Garden commercials, he'll be in every local- every single local commercial you've ever seen will have him in it. It's gonna be so annoying. Mickey Mouse is gonna be endorsing so many products. Think of the oversaturation, though. If you watch an Olive Garden commercial and Mickey Mouse is there, and then your local Toyota is Mickey Mouse, and then a, a toothpaste commercial has Mickey Mouse in it, it's gonna be crazy for a while. 2024, yeah, when is it actually supposed to happen? They're never gonna let that happen, no way. I would be really surprised if it actually did happen. 2024. No way. Think of every virus website that is a banner ad that will just have Mickey Mouse doing the standing sideways with his arms up, with his hands pointing towards the banner. And people are gonna just click it because it's Mickey Mouse. And it'll, just be, it'll, just, it'll just say, the magic of Mickey Mouse. Come over to... I don't know, whatever it is, whatever virus website it is, whatever scam it is. They've already bought themselves more time. Technically, it's the Steamboat Willie Mickey, and they've kind of gotten that back by reverting to an older art style for some cartoons. Oh. Mickey Mouse, you think scammers care about copyright? Literally nobody under 40 cares about Mickey Mouse. That's not true. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is one of the most popular things that anybody that was young, uh, my nieces and nephews, they watched the hell out of it. What are you talking about? That was a huge deal for at least a few, a couple of years. All right, let's, I want to skip to, ooh, mother. Yeah, of course you'd, everybody, what, Mickey Mouse is a big deal when you're a little kid. I could correct that statement and say that anybody under 40 and over 10, maybe, is correct. But I think you really underestimate how powerful of a character Mickey Mouse is to young kids. Especially like three, two, three, four, five year olds. Yeah, hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Now we've got ears. Now we've got ears. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Okay, so hold on a minute. Is that the whole Disney catalog of original characters? Or is that Mickey Mouse? Like, when is Goofy up for 
auction or whatever or whatever it is because they, they have to like is it people gonna somebody buy the copyright or no it's just public domain imagine they auctioned off the characters holy shit how much do you think that would go for how many people would be in that room next up is the rights to donald duck <laughs> that face that place would be full of people oh i love this one This is the one that goes down, 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 down. Yeah, this is the one that goes crazy. Yep. Who would go for the least amount of money? Between Goofy, Donald, and... Okay, Goofy, Donald, Pluto, Daisy... Because Minnie and Minnie are... They're, they're, they're billion dollar characters, right? You think Blu Pluto would go for the least? I don't know about that. I think Pluto is pretty iconic. I mean, I, can't, I guess, like, Pluto doesn't talk. So if you wanted to sell, like, used Toyotas with Pluto, you couldn't do that. Unless they wanted to make him talk. <laughs> what would Pluto sound like? Goofy can talk and Pluto can't explain that. Because, I don't know, the four of them stepped into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ooze. And Pluto didn't. Pluto would sound like a gangster. Like a 30s gangster. You'd be like, come on, get in there, what do you say about that? Come on now, you say, you like that? I don't know, uh, 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 I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't think so. No, no way. He'd be... Because he's lovable, dopey, funny... Well, think of the other talking dog that exists, right? Other talking dog. And I'm, when I say talking dog, I don't mean goofy. I don't mean dog... I'm not on all fours, dogs. Scooby-Doo, right? On all fours. They're a dog. Scooby-Doo is not supposed to be like a talking character. He's a, a dog on all fours. <laughs> so Pluto would have to be in that same category. Pluto's not going to be like Brian Griffin. Like, oh, hey, what's going on? It's me, Pluto. Yeah, I like martinis. I did that joke like a week ago. I don't care. But seriously, what would Pluto would probably be more dog-like. Let me think. Like, is it, it, it would be some type of range. I don't think it would be as um, as goofball as Scooby-Doo is. What other dog on all fours talks? I think it's just Scooby-Doo. Astro. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Astro's in that same category where he's like, I right, love you, you large. Right? The dogs on all fours always talk like Goofy. <laughs> Chucky, I love you, Roach. So if we use that same exact kind of barometer for how they're supposed to talk, then Pluto would be in the same category. I feel like it would be very tongue voice. Like the tongue is always out. Uh, like, uh, you know what I mean? Because he's always... <laughs> I feel like that'd be a gimmick. Like, right? It would be kind of a big... His tongue's always out. Uh, and it'd probably be very playful. Like, ha! <laughs> Hey, I'm hungry. Maybe something like that. I can perfect it. Fuck. <laughs> it'd be very. It'd be a lot of tongue. Tongue's just always hanging out. That would be the gimmick for that dog on all fours. I don't think Pluto makes sense. Wait, did um, what's the Garfield dog? Asteroid. What's the no? The dog from Garfield. Did he talk? Wait, he did for one episode, didn't he? Odie, right. Didn't Odie talk for an episode? I swear to God, there was an episode where Odie drank like a magic potion and could talk. Spike from Tom and Jerry. Sp hold on, Spike from Tom and Jerry is not on all fours. Yeah, he's he's bipedal. Yeah, he's not on all fours. <laughs> That's my boy. Yeah, he's he literally walks on two feet. I'm talking about on all fours, you are a dog on all fours. What about Bolt? Bolt? Bolt the dog. Bolt the dog talks? And why can't I burn these stupid bars? Oh shit, he does oh, talk. Buddy. Check this. Slow down. Have you seen the man with the green eye? <laughs> you Fuck! Know, this ruins everything for me. Say something this this, this oh, yeah, blows yeah. up the whole theory. Bolt doesn't have like a weird thing he does, like he doesn't go like... At the end of every sentence, does it go like yeah, 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 or something weird? No, I don't know. I, I, I thought I knew. Hey, you gotta give me something here, cause this is redundant. Pigeons are useless. I need someone on the inside, someone close to the green-eyed man. Fuck! But this is a movie, though, and it's like a celebrity was this role, right? It doesn't. That doesn't. It doesn't count. Beverly Hills. <laughs> what is this? Beverly Hills Chihuahua. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Welcome to the home of the rich and famous. 
I'll get you anything you want. Yes, <laughs> I will. No, not. Can I show this on stream? I don't think I can. One is more pampered and privileged than the Beverly Hills Chihuahuas. It's not easy to find a. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this doesn't count either. This doesn't count. I just, I'll tell you why this doesn't count. The reason why this doesn't count is because this is a real dog. Haha, ha, funny real dog that we CGI'd a mouth on. That's what makes this different. This is not the same. That may, this is different because this is a CG. This is not a. a Talk to the paw. But pa oh my fucking God, this is so stupid. It's not easy to find a mate with papers. Hey. Talk. To the yeah, this doesn't count. This doesn't count. This is, this is the one dog who's his own man. Oh. Doesn't count. Because it's a it's a the whole gimmick of the movie is look, it's real actors and it, with real dogs, but their mouths are CG. No, I'm talking about a created character that's so with it's not a real animal. Bolt is close. Bolt, I think no, it ruins my theory. 101 Dalmatians. Wait, Fat Albert's dog talked? How many talk? No, no. Lady and the Tramp. They talked? Wait a minute. Fuck, they did talk. Yeah, they talked a lot. Ponies. Did they? Was it, was it weird talking, though? I can't. This is so dumb. Grammarly helps make your writing clear. I, yeah, wait till Grammarly uses Mickey Mouse. Does anybody else? Okay, this, I, look, I, I, like, Grammarly... I don't know how good the product is. I have no idea. It's probably awesome. I wonder, right? That being said, I wonder how much money they spend on marketing because half of every ad I've ever received for the last almost five straight years has been Grammarly. They must have a monster marketing budget. Monster. That has to be like half the whole company's net worth. I, I, right? How would it be possible for them to show ads for this long? All right. I did not. What the fuck is this video that I just put in here? Am I getting a second ad? Mars, the very place for a very special occasion. Shit, they do talk, whatever. Did they go to the, did the animals talk to the people? What do you know? It's a butcher. Butch, bones. Okay, all right, I'm not, I'm not playing anymore. This, they talk, whatever. All dogs go to heaven. Yeah. What about non-movie? TV show. Movies is a different story. What about TV show? Courage the Cowardly Dog? Yeah, but he stands up. What's Mar- what is Martha? Martha? Martha speaks. Martha to reiterate my- Up your Leon, you wait at the bakery. When Carolina gets there- Shit! Bring her to the market, okay? Do they all talk? It's not gonna work. Oh, Hallie! Oh, perfect timing. We could really use some hand- God damn it, whatever. Dog with a blog. What is dog with a blog? <laughs> what is this nonsense? Kids. <laughs> Wait a second. I have a challenge for all of you. Go to. Okay, where is it? I need to show it. Dog with a blog, Disney Channel. Wait, what? Dog with a blog, Disney Channel. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> all right, hey, he's making noises. He's a rescue from the shelter. Coming soon to Disney Channel. Thank you, I've always wanted a dog. There's just one little thing. Give me this stinking food, I'm drooling a pool over No, but this doesn't count because he's a, he's a real dog. Huh? Uh, no. I mean, wolf. Meet a dog. We just can't let mom and dad find out. I couldn't bear to lose you, buddy. Wait, what do you mean let mom and dad find out? They can't hear him? This is awesome. Who can blog? I'm finally part of a family. I want to watch this show. No, 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 he can't. Okay. Dog with a blog. Why is this reverse Santa? Don't tell mom and dad the dog can talk. No, show no, no, dog with that. I don't understand. Still, but you understand my point. Three, two dogs that have ever existed, that have ever been created as characters, have a, a funny dog voice, if they're on all fours. It's been two ever. So, I would think Pluto would be the third. Nine years ago. That's insane. So that, that was the turn of the, of the Disney Channel century, right? Where every show was just friends for kids. And they're still doing it. I don't even know. I, d people always say, oh wow, the Disney Channel, like, all those shows are sucking, they're boring, and they're dumb, and they're just soulless. Well, how can they keep making them? Somebody has to be watching them. Does cat dog count? Um, 
A little, but Cat Dog has a funny voice. A dog is like this, right? And, and cat is like this. It's like, oh, cat dog. No, that, that's, that's not like a human talking. You talk like that. I don't talk like that. The dog from Johnny Test. Was he stand upright, though? I feel like that he was like a person. He, he stood upright, didn't he? Yeah, we have to eliminate real dogs that have a CG mouth. That doesn't count. The only one I've really seen was that Martha one. That fits that category. What about Paw Patrol? Yeah, but they like they drive cars and shit. Pluto doesn't drive a car. Scooby-Doo doesn't drive a car. Fred, if you're back here, then who's driving? You have to sit upright to drive a car. They fly planes and stuff. You're moving the goalpost. I think the things I'm saying are very they're valid points. What about Clifford the big red dog? Um, hold on, did Clifford I always thought that he had a funny voice. Hi, my name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big red dog. I Shit, they all have normal voices. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, he's, 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 got a no he's normal. Damn it. Your whole point has been ruined. It doesn't matter. The point still stands. Pluto would not have a normal voice. Can we? Okay. Let's do a poll. At least give me, give me the benefit of the doubt here. Let's throw a poll up. Would Pluto have a normal voice? I don't think he would. None of Mickey Mouse and friends have normal voices. I think they kind of do. Mickey? Um, who? Daisy? Yeah, yes they do. They, they have... They, this, yeah, they're normal. They're kind of normal. Like, Goofy's is just like kind of a low... A very low, booming voice. Like, gosh, Mickey! Oh, how are you, Mickey? That People talk like that. That is no. How is that not normal? I just did it. Oh, gosh, Mickey. Oh, go hey, guys, it's me, Jerma. I'm here uh, just having a swell time on my channel. There are people that actually talk like that. What are you talking about? Donald is the one that's not normal. No, 82%. Thank you. You just spent an hour proving nothing. Well, I, sh I sure did. I just spent an hour proving I don't know very many dogs that are on all fours to talk. That's what you should took from that. And guess what? Neither did you. Until probably 10 minutes ago. This game sucks. No, it doesn't. How dare you? I'm furious with that person. Furious with them. Out of, back to the playground. All right, where was I? I want new music. Go back to Animal Crossing. No, I want I want lips. What's what's the the, the lipstick song? Yeah, from uh, Panel Dipon. Yeah, this is the one. This one is this one's on fire. What happened to this game? Nintendo has access to so many characters and so many things that are cool. Play a hundred gecks. <laughs> are you get off of that one? What we did that already. The best part of this song is that. Oh, uh, this might be like the four-hour version of this song. Good. Keep it on. There we go, finally, alright. Looks good. Oh, it's the 30 minute version, right. I, I wanna hear the Angel, the Angel Island Zone. From Brawl. Now that one was also really good. I don't even like these games. You can really tire the top the part where the drummer really picks up right here. He starts like fucking screaming right here. In the audience, you just see the drummer just going nuts right there. He's opening his mouth and closing it, like opening him out, closing it. You know, uh, they got real comfy. They got real comfortable after Brawl. Remember how big of a deal this was? They have all these songs. 
from other franchises, some of them which are not even Nintendo. It was a huge fucking deal. And I think after the Brawl soundtrack, it was kind of just like, yeah, we're just going to put music in. They made a really big deal about this. Ultimate has a massive OST. Yeah, but I'll be honest, I only played Ultimate for... Like a week, because I got discouraged because of how badly I got shit on and online that I was like, I'm never playing this game ever again. Online sucks. <laughs> and it's too bad, because Smash Brothers is one of the only fighting games that I actually understand. Oh, okay. Sorry, fighting game. I have to put a quotes or an asterisk next to it. It's not a fighting game, it's a party game. The game where you fight each other with essentially health bars. It's a fighting game. Mario versus Luigi. They beat the shit out of each other, and one of them loses the fight. That's a fighting game. Now, it might not be a very in-depth fighting game, if you really want to call it that. It's not a fighting game. It is. They're fighting each other. The characters are fighting on screen. It's a, it, you could call it a party game, too, but it's also a fighting game. They, you, you pick a character, and one of us wins, and one of us loses. Cod is a fighting game. Dynasty Warriors is a fighting game. It's not a fighting game. Well, what makes a fighting game a fighting game, then? What makes a fighting game? You could say Madden is a fighting game, couldn't you? <laughs> 2D melee combat. Well, the Hadouken is not melee. It has to have frame data and special moves. Chips are dinner. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why'd you say that? Chips are dinner? They could be. They can be if you eat chips for dinner. Who said that? That's funny. Is that Joel? Ah, it's fucking... What a, what a hilarious joke. You can eat chips for dinner. It sucks. It's bad for you. You can also... You can eat hamburger meat for dinner. Literally, Smash is a fighting game. Smash is a kid's game. Okay, is it a kid's fighting game? How about... Let's put on... Um, let's put on... Uh, let's put the Tekken soundtrack on. I don't know. You call it whatever you want. But I remember playing, like, Tekken and playing, like, Virtual Fighter and shit. And... Those games... I remember just playing it with friends. And you'd get punched like three times, and you'd go, no, 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 no KO, knockout. You just like fell off the fucking level. It, was, it wasn't fun. I remember getting caught in like a Tekken combo, and I just didn't even get to play the game. Like, I feel like I wasn't pressing the buttons hard enough in some of those games. Tekken also isn't 2D. That's right. Let's play, let's put on Tekken OST. I remember just getting, walking outside of bounds accidentally in Virtua Fighter, and never playing it again. Is Smash like a competitive fighting game? I mean, a lot of people would tell you that that Melee is. What separates Melee from an, any other fighting game? If you Okay, if you do no items, no bullshit, just fighting each other, how is it different? Okay, like Brawl, would I would classify maybe not as a fighting game because you can just trip for no reason. It's just, and that's, maybe that's not a fighting game. I don't know. Like imagine if Street Fighter, if all of a sudden your character fell down like 1% of the time. That would suck for a lot of these competitive players. Sakurai himself said there's not- Smash is not a fighting game, so there's no debate. I mean... But it's- it's not- but we're just playing semantics, though. It's an action game? It's an action party game that includes fighting people on a stage to reduce their health to, to zero and reduce their lives to zero. Reduce 100%. That's a fighting game. I mean, I would say that's a fighting game, but then like somebody said, what is- is COD a fighting game? It's you and me versus each other on like a battlefield, and I'm trying to reduce your health to zero while we fight each other and shoot each other. Why do we have to have all these rules? Why can't we just- whatever. Guns make it a shooter. Well, Striker is in Mortal Kombat. He has a gun. Joker has a gun. Oh. Or isn't there a character in Tekken that's literally- It's like a- it's, it's like a kangaroo with boxing gloves on? That's pretty much a Smash character. I don't think it matters what the weapon you're using is. I really don't think so. It's a bear. Who's the kangaroo? Roger. Yeah, there's a raptor as well. What game is that? Tekken 3? There's a kangaroo and two bears. There's no role-playing in most RPGs. That's right. Yeah, so who cares? Like, what does it matter? Smash character is an anime protagonist with a sword. Well, I mean, I, I will say that makes up a lot of them. Makes up a lot of the characters. But here's the here's the one thing I will say about Smash to kind of rebut. Uh, look, I don't like that there's anime character with sword for ten characters either. But here's where I rebuttal that. It's the only way I can rebuttal this. It's the only way that makes sense to me. There's like eighty-five Smash characters. Isn't there like a hundred playable characters in the Switch one? 
that's so many characters. I guess at some point you're gonna make a few more protagonists with sword. There's 80 in the Switch one. That's so many. How many characters were in Tekken? 12? 15? Is 50? What? There are not 50 characters in Tekken. No way. Oh. How many characters are in Tekken 4? 23 characters in Tekken 4. Alright, Tekken 5. 32 in Tekken 5. Tekken 6. 39 in Tekken 6. Tekken 7. 36 in Tekken 7. Tekken 8. 51 characters. Wait, this is not out yet. Okay, so the Tekken 8's not out yet. So, but even still, in the, in the Tekken that's not out yet, 51 characters are planned for Tekken 8. There are 80 in Smash Brothers. So, I... How many characters are there in Street Fighter? Street Fighter... Five, I don't even know anything about Street Fighter. They release the same Street Fighter, like, Skyrim-style five times every year or two. Street Fighter V has come out, like, four times. Uh, how many Street Fighters have there been? Street Fighter VI? How many characters are Street Fighter VI? Eight?! There are only eight characters in Street Fighter VI?! How many characters in Street Fighter V? Sixteen. It's not out yet. Oh. Dude, we gotta stop numbering shit. I'm serious. Stop numbering video games. Especially ones that are in a series like this. Like, we're gonna get to, eventually, like, Tekken 17? Why? Call it, like, Tekken? The Battle for Azeroth, or whatever the hell you wanna call it. After 5, it's like, alright. Do we really need to- how many are you gonna number? Like, 10, 12, 15, 20? I made this joke on Twitter, and I'm gonna make it on here now, too. Because it's been, like, six and a half years. When you get to the point where your numbered franchise has as many numbers as the Jason movies, it's time to figure out another title. Think about this. In 20 more years, trying to remember when Street Fighter 7 or 8 came out is gonna be, like, impossible. Alright, Street Fighter 4 was... Wait, when the fuck was that? Street Fighter 2? Street Fighter... 16? I don't remember. When, when did that character come out? Street Fighter 70? I don't know. Or if you want to number him, just do it like they... Yeah, give it the year. Like, Street Fighter 95. Street Fighter 2006. So then if we, I can at least know where when the hell it was. Street Fighter 2020. Like, I have... I know that when that was. Sonic 06. Yeah, I know exactly when that came out. In the barrage of Sonic the Hedgehog video games, I know exactly what that game was. I know the precise opening cutscene. I know all the characters in it. I know the exact game. Sonic 06 came out in 2005. <laughs> Whatever. It's still that same period. It's fine. What's the name of the princess in Sonic 06? Oh, oh I don't know anything. Eliza. Eli Elisa. One of those. I know it's one. It's close. Elise. Oh, oh, what? I don't know. I was very close. <laughs> Eliza. I don't know. It was one of that. Why did I know that? Because Sonic 06, I remember the whole game because it was 06. And I know the exact year. I know the exact place I was sitting. Calm down. I'm calm. I remember, th I'm, I have a very, very distinct memory of Sonic 06. You know why? Because I thought that game was weird as shit. Isn't that the game where the, you, there's like real people? And you're in like a real like human city and shit and there's like real people? It was really weird to me. It wasn't the typical, oh, you got the cat, you've got... Uh, you got the the slug guy. You've got the, the 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 bat person. You've got the Amy, right? It was they were humans, in cutscenes interacting with Sonic. It was it was kind of strange. Mario Odyssey did that, but but the, the in Sonic 06, the characters were very like lifelike human characters, like CG human characters, very high detailed humans. They were not in Odyssey. They they were they were not like very high detailed human characters in Odyssey. They were human characters in Odyssey, but they weren't, like, super high-quality, high-detailed facial structures and stuff, were they? I don't remember that. They were, like, a cartoon, right? Sonic 06 had cartoon style of Sonic, and then these highly detailed human real people. Sonic 06 was not originally a Sonic game, is that why? What was it supposed to be? It was supposed to be a Final Fantasy game? Was it? <laughs> It was called Humans 06. <laughs> oh, that's great. Give that person a badge or something. I, I need music. How about... Cupcakes! How about... Cupcakes! Destiny, no, not Mega Man, that sounds good. Mega Man... See, this is an, here's another problem. I know there's a few songs in Mega Man that I would like, 
I don't know if it's Mega Man 3 or Mega Man 10. I'm gonna go with Mega Man 3. Mega Man 06. Oh, it's definitely Mega Man 3. Pick the right one. I want to throw, like, a water grenade right here. You know I mean? Just boom, like a clean grenade. Water bazooka? Yep. I just said that to you like I was being asked by my mother if I was ready for school when I was still sleeping. Yep. <laughs> Honey, are you already ready? Yep, yep. That was my favorite thing. I always said, I'm just putting my socks on. That was the way to get away from it. Yeah, I'm just putting my socks on with my eyes closed. I'm still in bed. I don't know why that worked. I guess because putting socks on kind of is a pain in the ass sometimes, maybe? Like, that, that takes a while for some reason in my child brain. And then if you hear your mother start to come towards the room, you hear, like, the here comes mom, she's walking towards the door. You rip out of the bed as fast as you fucking can. You feel horrible, you feel like shit. But you immediately grab the fucking pair of socks and, like, you're struggling to put it on your foot. And she comes in, are you ready? Y'all just, I just talked on! Like, you're just so fucked up. And then, you hear the door close, you look over, and you just lie right back down. And then you do it all over again. And then your mother thinks that there's, like, something wrong with you. Because I was just in here ten minutes ago, and you're still having pr a trouble putting your socks on. What are you doing? Are you alright? you putting the sock on the same foot when I came in here 10 minutes ago. <laughs> there was one time when I didn't want to go to school. I was like, I don't want to go to school today. Fuck that. I'm staying home. You're like, oh, I don't feel good. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, okay. Yeah, take your temperature. <laughs> and I took the thermometer and I held it up. I held it up to a light bulb when she left the room. Like, a hot light bulb. I held it up right to the light bulb. And then I, I, when I heard her coming back in, she was coming back in the room and I put it under my tongue. I put it, like, in my mouth. And she grabbed it. And it, it was, like, 110. Something fucking crazy. And she's like, uh, what is going on? Oh, I don't feel good. And it was just like, go to school. Get up. No, but I don't feel good. So I think I have a temperature. Okay, because if you had 108 temperatures, you'd, you'd be dead. Um, you're still alive, so I don't know what you did here, but get up and go to fucking school. And I'd be like, oh, blah, 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 whatever, and I would just get up and get ready. You stole that from E.T. I, I, I probably did. I probably watched it and thought it would work. But I used to do that shit. I put orange juice in my mouth. I'm not, this is, I'm not making this up. This is a fucking real story. I put orange juice in my mouth one time. And... Went to my, so my grandmother was around. My grandmother was watching us at the time. And I put orange juice in my mouth and like went on the ground going like, mm, oh no, like I'm gonna puke. And I went like, bleh, and I spit like three tablespoons of orange juice onto the ground. <laughs> my grandmother was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm sick, see? You were a little shit. No, I just, no, I wasn't. It was a tile floor, so it was easy to clean. I was like 10. And it was uh, it was very clearly, I put orange juice in my mouth and I was like, I'm, look at me, I'm sick, I'm puking on the ground. And it never worked. I always thought somehow it was gonna work one day and it never did. It's really funny because if I, if I had just, and I used to do this sometimes, if I was like, like, ma, I'm not really feeling that great. I really kind of, I think I need to take like a day. I'm like, I don't feel great. It was like, okay, yeah, sure. But it was the times that I was like, oh, I'm sick. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh. And you, I would always put on a voice. You guys ever do that? You ever put on the I'm sick voice? Here's the I'm sick voice. Mom, I don't feel good. Yeah, I don't know if something's wrong. I think I like I have a headache and everything. What, what, is that, the, how, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. No, I, I don't feel good. No, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's my head is hurting. Like, nobody talks like that. Even when you're sick, you're, what are you doing? If I had just been honest with my mother, it wouldn't be like, all right, go to school. It'd be like, oh, all right, you don't, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, take a day. It was not hard. It would just be like, I don't really feel like going to school today. I like, don't feel like it. It's 
like, all right, is everything all right? Like, yeah, I just, I don't know, I just don't want to. You know, I'm telling you right now, it was a fucking miracle that I, like, passed any school. Besides college, I actually, I tried. I really did try in college, I did. I, wa I wanted to, like, do well, and uh, I wanted to do, like, uh, uh, college stuff, and I, I, did, I really did try. But, man, in high school and in middle school, I'm not, I think, I honestly think I did one homework worksheet in four years. I seriously think that. I, I truly believe that. And I would just do well on the tests. Like, I would just get, like, an 80 or 85 on the tests. I just wouldn't ever do homework, ever. 2.6 Andy. 2 point, yeah. 2.8, 2 point, what was it, 2.6? Homework was such a, is such a scam. It really is. Nobody wants to do that shit at their house. That, I don't think it does anything for kids. I, I really don't think it helps retain information. I really don't think so. I actually don't believe that. I think homework makes a little bit of sense. It's almost like the, the, the teachers are trying just to get you to continue to pay attention or something. But it's like, like, no, 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 you have to go back into your house and do this too. Because I want to make sure you fucking paid attention today. Well, make your class not suck. How does that sound? And then you have the other problem is teachers are so underpaid, at least in America. We should be, we should be paying teachers a shitload of money. And I mean it, an absolute metric fuck ton of money. School should only be four days a week. And it shouldn't be six hours. It should be like fucking four. Pay teachers a shitload of money, and it'll be like classes will be better, or they'll be more interesting. Have interesting classes, you know what I mean? Why is it so hard to figure out? This actually is not even that hard of a thing to figure out. This is not even difficult. This is like common sense. I was so unproductive when I was a kid. Because I was waking up at six o'clock in the morning and, and going to school for six hours. It just, I just, it sucked. I just didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. Now imagine if school didn't start till fucking 10 or 9. And the classes were interesting. The teachers really gave a shit. Really, really did. And there are teachers that do give a shit. They do. A lot of them. Pay the teachers more money. They, I would get the 30 fucking thousand dollars a year for a teacher. 40,000. Double that. Overnight. Immediately. Holy shit. We're talking about our kids' brains, for God's sake. So much more pro productivity comes in place when people, like, want to do it. And they're prepared to do it. And it's not, they're not being forced to do it. I think that's the biggest problem. I really do. When I was in school, I felt like I was forced to do it. And there were some classes, there were some times where I felt like, Oh, actually, you know what? Like, doing this math problem, I actually kind of like this. It wasn't every day. At all. It was maybe like a few times, maybe like a few times a week was I really, like, in the headspace of like, You know what? I guess I can do, like, a bunch of long division or something. Fine. And it's like, even for the kids that really excel, I'm sure, I'm, some of you, I'm sure, probably really excel in school. I'm sure you do. But how much more, how much better would you be doing if you had the more tools to do better? If the classes were even more interesting, right? If, like, your teachers didn't have to fucking fight the budget board to, like, get pens and shit and, like, pencils. You know what I mean? Like, that, there's so much things that teachers would like to do. We have enough money. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I would probably still hate school. Look, school is school, right? You got you do it. You got to learn stuff. And there's another thing. What in the name of God? And I'm gonna go off on this. Right? This is time to do it during the Mega Man song, right? I don't care. I'm just going off. I'm doing it. Why do we not teach everybody? Put a huge emphasis on like finances and and how to like file a fucking tax return and stuff. We spend like an hour on that shit. Sometimes, like, maybe one week of, like, your, your home ec class is about some of this stuff. Teach kids what, like, a credit score is, what, like, a credit card does. Financial, like, literacy. Like, we need to teach this shit to people. Like, we don't even, it's just, oh, well, maybe one day they'll figure it out. What the hell is school for? If not to prepare everybody for adulthood, right? It's to prepare us for the fucking world. I'll be honest, I don't really care about, like, doing math problems or what, like, Genghis Khan did. We have Netflix documentaries that can cover that shit in an hour. And I'm not saying that stuff's not important. It is. It is. We need to obviously learn about who we are and where, what people are, where they're from, what people have done, what the world was like, what are, what are things that happened, major important, of course. But to replace... To replace, like, actual life skills and teaching people things that they're gonna need. 
I think the focus is on preparing people for adulthood, because when you're not prepared for adulthood, then you get stuck. Are you running for office? Yes. No, I'm not. <laughs> this is not even some like, oh wow, he was so brave. No, I don't think that. I just, I honestly just think. You guys know how much you this look, go. You want to, you want to get like angry for a second? Look at, at least in the United States. Go look at the breakdown of where our federal tax dollars go. Just go do it. It takes two seconds. Go look at where education is. How much we spend federally on education? Huh? They, they, they need to do, increase that by a huge amount. This is not, it's not political. This is not political. This is just like, what, where, 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 it is political, whatever. I'm breaking my own rules, I know. No, I, 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 it's not political. It's not political. I'm just telling you to go look. We don't spend very much on education at all. And it's incredibly important. It's not politics. It's just, this is just, whatever. It's not a lot. And, like, why is it not a lot? We don't, we... Education is so important. Science, medicine, technology, right? Like, th these are things we need to do. Just go look at the budget one day. Just go look at it and, and be like, oh, I wonder where our money goes. And just look at it. Just stare at it for a, a, a half a minute. This is based. No, it's not. It's not. It really isn't. This is very based. I, I mean, I just think it's... I think a lot of issues could be solved in our country, in our world, in our country. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me put like fake fucking crowd music. I think that a lot of issues in our country can be completely solved by having a much better education system. Teaching kids what they need to learn to be an adult. Fine, I'm talking about financial literacy. I'm talking about uh, skills that they'll need to learn to, to be a functioning adult. I'm talking about being able to teach kids, not just about like history and science and social studies. I'm talking life skills, things you need. It shouldn't be 2% of the budget. It should be probably 10. If that's political, I'm sorry, then this is a political stream at the moment, or this moment. I don't think it is. More money to teachers, more money to programs. Like you take a look at like that, that you take a, you take a look at our, what are like our programs that are suffering right now. Extracurricular shit to like, like our arts and, 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 the arts programs are all just suffering. You know what I mean? Like, what the hell's going on? Oh, I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold your applause for a second. I had to look at my phone. <laughs> He's getting texted. No, but but seriously. Programs like... Okay, when we did the archaeology thing. Like the Science Center. They do virtual field trips and shit. Imagine how awesome that would be to, if that was just no, like just a part of everybody's lives as a kid. More field trips. Do more cool shit. I don't want to go to the same place for a field trip. I don't want a field trip to just be we go into a bus and go to Dairy Queen. That's not a field trip. You know how many times I've seen the people, the old time people, churn the butter? When I was younger? Oh, this is what it was like back in the old times. I've been to that place like 10 times. And go Red Sox. Okay, okay, okay. Shh. Thank you. No, uh, but seriously, if you go look at where our money goes. I think we could really stand to put a little more of our- we could restructure our budget a little bit. Have people going to school and shit be really important, because it is important. And not just- not shitty school, not dumb school, not school that everybody hates going to. I don't want- I don't- I don't want to dump a shitload more money into a boring, shitty education system. I'm talking about, let's redo the whole goddamn thing. Make it good, make it fun, make it interesting, make it engaging. You know what I mean? Then you'd want to do it, you'd want to go. And fuck Capcom, by the way, yeah. You say that at like the political, uh, at like the big speech, and my like my campaign rally, and fuck Capcom. What's with the FOV? They need to change that. I, and honestly, I don't think it even matters. Like where you even stand politically, I think that everybody could probably agree that we gotta we gotta make our shit a little better. You know what I mean? We gotta like put another a higher standard here. We gotta make a little bit more. I don't think that's like a necessarily biased statement to any political leaning. I really don't think it is. No, you, you don't- you don't know what I am. You don't know what- how I lean politically. I've never talked about it. You have no idea. You have absolutely no idea. If you guess, you're gonna- I'm gonna keep you guessing. But I, that's not what this stream is for. And we talked about that before as well. But, I, sometimes, you know, you gotta talk about some things. I had to. I had to. I've- that's been on my mind recently. It has. You literally told us. No, I didn't. 
Oh, you were centrist. No, I, when did I say that? I said that? When did I say that? Did I get shit-faced one day and say that? Was I, like, drunk on wine and I was like, I'm a centrist. When did that happen? I don't think that happened. <laughs> that didn't happen. You didn't have to say that. What are you talking about? I've never... Been, I, it's a fucking secret of what, how, what I believe, all right? And no, don't let anybody ever tell you differently. It's obvious. What's obvious? What do you mean it's obvious? <laughs> Why are you panicking? I'm not panicking. I Whatever. It's in your rant section on YouTube, is it? You support Vervin Supreme. I mean, that guy's fucking hilarious, but... I don't know what his policies are. You watched Bionicle with Biden, it's obvious. <laughs> we know. You don't know anything. Nobody knows anything. I Let me just pretend that people don't know. An, an, <laughs> an anarchist? I'm not an anarchist. What are you talking about? You're a Minecraft anarchist. I don't even know what that is. I have no idea what I just said. The ultimate secret of German 985's political leanings is a biblio... Pablo Goo Goo Gaga Ding Dongist. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> uh, sure, I guess. Stop playing this? What? Well, I'm having fun. I like this. Show us what you look like without your dentures in. Why would I do that? I don't like the way I look without my dentures in. Why would I do that? Geriatric Andy. I'm not geriatric. I am getting older, though. You do have that, right? It's okay to get older. I don't feel a day over 30. I definitely feel 30, though. In fact, probably a little bit older. I don't feel a day over 32. How is it like living uh, past 30? It's pre I like it. I like it. I like I like being 30 plus. Slow down a little bit. Takes me a little longer. I just like kind of chill. You get angry when young people are loud? I get angry when anybody gets loud. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a chill. You're not 60. Yeah, I, I can guarantee you that I've lost a step or two, though. I mean, look at, I already have, like, a medical problem, right? I didn't have that in my 20s. That started in my 30s. So already, I can tell you, I've slowed down quite a bit. Get some music? All right, yeah. He didn't even do it. Why won't he do it? What? That, what's? Why was this file? What's the person played in a wrong file or something? Fucking do it! Thank you! <laughs> it's not the Mandala effect. I died I, dead. It's right there. Right, what, I need an actual OST though. Um, how about Donut Country? Oh, this is nice. Sure. I have a homework assignment for you guys. I know homework, you don't want to do homework. I know we just talked about it. But that. <laughs> it's in something else. And I don't know what it's in. It's been bugging me for like 25 fucking years. It's in something else. It happens in either another game or a TV show or... And it's been bugging me for like 20 years. When's the homework due? Next week. Sound effects is called Sound Idea Scream Male Agony. Oh yeah, you guys had homework. That's right. Not that one. That's it. <laughs> but it's, it's slowed down. It's the pitch has changed. It's over, over, over. <laughs> nice job. You you got an A. You got an A plus. Okay, cool. What's wrong with this song? It's just skipping. Like it was a CD. Why is it doing that? It's a 1080 nozzle. Uh, I got a 3090 now, man. Nice flex. No, uh, you see what happened was I was forced to buy one because graphics cards didn't exist. And uh, me and Community Jake were both desperately in all these different places trying to find a graphics card. 
as a member of eight months ago when I wanted to build a new computer. So I didn't want a 3090, but I got a 3090 because that was all that was available. And I'll tell you, this thing is hot. This thing runs way hotter than my 1080. So now I get computer room syndrome, which means it just gets so hot in here because I have this monster 3090 in here generating a furnace level of heat. What's the average temp on it? It's really high. I'm going to have to do something about it. It's way too high. I think it hits like 90 Celsius. 95, 92 all the time. I think it peaks at like 100. Yeah, these things just run insanely hot. I looked it up. I might have to get a cooler for this thing in particular. Memory runs warm, probably referring to that. Micron posted actual specs recently. Max 105 Celsius under load. That seems so hot. It seems like it shouldn't be like that. That's more than boiling water, isn't it? That's like 200 and something degrees. Get a water cooler. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something. I really don't want one of those big elaborate tube systems though. I can just get a GPU cooler and replace the stock fans on it, right? That'll probably be fine. Get an AIO. AIO, okay. What's an AIO? AIO. <laughs> <laughs> They make AC units for the back of a computer? I think they do. They're probably so stupid expensive though. Stick it in the fridge. <laughs> Just get a mini fridge, put the computer in the mini fridge, and have the power cord be coming out of like a hole I drilled. Would that work? What would that do? Can you power wash your balls? Well, if you did that, I don't, I think you'd be in, at the hospital. That would be a bad idea. I think that would be a, a major, major mistake. I would not ever ever do something like that sounds very dangerous and very stupid <laughs> god gpu hot tub I mean, if you dropped a gpu into like oil or something right what are those computers i see sometimes where they're the, all the parts are just in oil it's like an oil cooled pc or something it's weird mineral oil does that work i saw videos on it before where the entire computer is just submerged in mineral mineral oil, right? There's a lot of downsides to it, but it does sort of work, huh? Well, I mean, I, problem number one is I really don't want a fry later sitting in my room just ready to tip over. Oh, what do I want to eat? I just thought of, like, fried chicken. Somebody said KFC. It'd be like Taco Bell or something. Three cheesy gordita crunches with the Doritos Locos Tacos. Yep. I think that sounds like a great idea to me. The Cheesy Gordita Crunch really might be the single most brilliant fast food invention. It really is. I think it is like the best fast food item. Where did I put it on the tier list? I put it up real high, didn't I? Where was it? It was A. What did I put an S tier for fast food stuff? The German 985 meal? At Taco Bell, it's three Cheesy Gordita Crunches with Doritos Tacos and that's it. And you just get a drink. That's, that's it. You don't get anything else. Not even the cinnamon things? No. I'm trying to really think the last time I ordered something else off the Taco Bell menu that was not that. I don't think I ever have. Well, before the Cheesy Gordita Crunch came out, I ordered tacos, uh, the Mexican pizza they had there, ooh, chalupa, whatever. No, after Cheesy Gordita Crunch, every single order was Cheesy Gordita Crunch. I've never ordered anything else off of that menu since 1998, whenever it was. <laughs> it is so good. Oh, I'm getting it. I want it right now. What's your opinion on the Crunch Wrap Supreme? It's not the Cheesy Gordita Crunch, so I will never order it, and I will never eat it. I've never had it, and I never will. There's no other reason. I, there's no reason for me to order it. All right, if Taco Bell pulls a fast one here, and they remove that off the menu, I'm not sure I would ever go there again. I really don't think so. There's no reason for me to be there. I go to Taco Bell for the Cheesy Gordita Crunch. If it's not there, I'm not going. Fuck you, Jerma. The crunch wrap is a staple. It, uh, I, I'm sure it's good. I do, it doesn't matter. I'm never going to order something that's not the Cheesy Gordita Crunch. It's never going to happen. Because you could say, well, dude, you get three Cheesy Gordita Crunches. Just order two and get a crunch wrap. No, 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 no. Excuse me. No, thank you. That That's one full Cheesy Gordita Crunch I will not be able to enjoy. I, I want the full satisfaction. I will take a bite of the crunch wrap supreme. And be sitting there going, I wish this was the sa I wish this was a cheesy Gordita Crunch. I wish they would make more cheesy Gordita Crunch variants. 
They just have the the normal one, and then they have the Doritos one. Make some different ones. You're a cheesy Gordita dunce. <laughs> well, that's that was pretty good. What even is 864p? Don't click it, man. It was a part of a prank video I'm doing. We just finished the shoot, and I don't want anyone else to click on it. Just be careful. Don't click it. Uh, if you want to know, it's the uh, it's a resolution that's divisible by 8. Therefore, it is true 16 by 9. If you don't have a resolution that's divisible by 8, then the program has to do extra work for pixels that don't exist. See, I'm smart. I know things. I mean, I would I want to up my bitrate, but I don't think I can. I think there's a cap on what you're allowed to actually do for a bitrate. It was a huge frog burp, and I hope nobody heard it. Yeah, 6K, yeah. To have anything over 720 not look like ass at 60 FPS, that's got to be at least 8,000. 8, 9, 10,000. You can do 1080 30, and it will look probably fine. Either that, or you have to have such a monster CPU that you can drop the preset down to like slow or slowest, and then you don't need the bitrate. But I don't have a CPU that can do that. I haven't really tried, though. What's my CPU? My CPU is... I actually forget. It's a new computer. Oh, my CPU is... A Ryzen 7 5800X 8-core. So it's a 5800X. Ryzen 7 8-core. Germa has 30 webcams, but not two PCs. <laughs> God, I wish I had fucking access to, like, 5 or 10 cameras. Hold on to this. Because I'm going to get like 15 webcams and set them all up and just fucking have a brawl in my living room. I'm going to beat the shit out of myself with like 30 different webcams. It's going to be fucking crazy. They're all going to be in like random. I'm going to lose track of everything. I should I should like delay some of them by like four minutes and get in like costumes and come in and be like, it's me, Superman, and fucking start just walk off set. This is going to be nuts. I'm, I'm going to buy like 30 webcams. Well, the 30 webcam stream, the problem was all the, the bus lanes. There's only a certain amount of lanes on a motherboard where you can plug in like webcam. But there's a solution for it. Uh, actually, Community Jake and I have been talking about that one. And the solution for it is something we can do. Maybe it would be fun to do. Uh, I donated all the webcams. I had like 30 webcams. Like I had like at least 20, 15. I just donated them. I, did, I couldn't even use them. I was never going to be able to use them. Did you sign them? No, why would I sign them? 30, 20, 15, yeah, whatever. Bah, puke, whatever. What a sidekick. Puke. Oh, we have uh, horrible news. Pizza the Hut ate himself in his car. He was locked in his car. What's that from Spaceballs? Oh, that's a good movie. Pizza, yeah, he had to eat himself because he locked himself in his car. I keep overlooking that from that movie. That guy literally ate himself and died. How do you eat yourself? Well, he was a pizza. If you didn't see Spaceballs, Pizza the Hut is a character who is just a slice of pizza. And he's disgusting. It's gross. There's like cheese falling off of him and pepperonis and shit. It's really odd. He's a really fucking crazy character. The King of the Schwartz! See us next time for Spaceballs 2! The search for more money! That, that's Mel- that's classic Mel Brooks, man. Rick Moranis. He was so good in that movie, too. What the hell am I looking at? There's a lot of new people here, but that's my favorite gag ever. If you want to know what my all-time favorite joke ever in any piece of media ever. Comedy, stand-up, movies, TV shows, video games. It's that scene from Spaceballs where they have to put the Spaceballs movie into the fucking video player to find out what they have to do next. That's, that is the best joke I've ever seen. Nothing even comes close. Not even close. Well, fast forward this part. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's like the embarrassing part where he like falls and like hits his head. And he's like, fast forward this part. It, it, in fact, it, never, never play this again. And then they go too far and they get to the point where they're actually in the same part of the movie. Of them standing there looking at the screen. It's like, what, what, what is this? And he's like, oh, it's now, sir. We're watching now. How does this make any sense? This can't be! Hey, if you've never seen Spaceballs, that's required reading for this stream. What's the syllabus? I could give you guys the syllabus. <laughs> right, that actually is funny to me. Should I make a syllabus for you guys? 
of things you have to watch before watching this stream. The syllabus, by the way, has nothing to do with any of my content. This, you don't have to go watch any of my videos. Just go watch Spaceballs three times. Watch Ghostbusters 1, Ghostbusters 2, Gremlins 2. Gremlins 1 is good, but Gremlins 2 is better. I can make the whole syllabus for you. All the Spee videos. <laughs> no. Don't do that. Uh, Gremlins 2 is also one of the most important movies of my entire life. So yeah, I would say that that is huge too. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? That's another one that's incredibly important, required reading. That's embarrassing? Who Framed Roger Rabbit is embarrassing? One of the, like, that's in the Library of Congress. Cars 2 is in the Library of Congress, doesn't matter. Uh, Gorillas, Demon Days, and Plastic Beach, also required reading. And Plastic Beach? Yeah, I I really liked Plastic Beach a lot. A lot. I thought it was fantastic. A lot of people might not agree with that, but I think that's... Uh, it's really easy to say Demon Days is the best album, but I think Plastic Beach is. I know. People are going to be like, no fucking way. But I just really... Uh, uh, replayability, re-listenability. I've listened to Plastic Beach's songs more than I have Demon Days. And Demon Days is just a... is a rock solid. Just absolute banger after banger. But for some reason, Plastic Beach just did it more for me. I don't know why. I mean, I think that era, but at Phase 2 and Phase 3 of the Gorillas, I think that's the best. That That's when they were at their absolute peak. That's not to say that I didn't like humans, but Plastic Beach and Demon Days are way better. Song Machine is good, too. I actually haven't really given it much listen. I'll have to do that. I liked that single they came out with. What was it called? Humility? When I reset myself and get back on track. I like that song. I don't want this. Dun, 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 dun. See the state of men now. That was really good. That's from the now now. I actually, people were really mixed on um, Saturn bars. I really liked it. I thought it was really good. I like Moments was good too. Moments was just all. It was it, it was just super. Like when you put Moments on, it was just like wow, just my whole body just was would just move. I'm so happy De La Soul continued to do stuff with Gorillaz. They're so good. A lot of times, like, the Gorillaz will have that one-off. Where it's like, oh yeah, they were on that Gorillaz album that one time. But De La Soul is just on every album. Lou Reed collab with them too. Yeah, what was the Lou Reed song? It was in Plastic Beach, right? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was Plastic Beach. Oh yeah, Some Kind of Nature, that's right. I love Stylo too, though. Stylo was awesome. That was a driving song, it really was. Now you make me want to listen to the Gorillaz. I'll have to do that with my cheesy Gordita Crunch. It sounds like the Doctor House song. What's that song called? Teardrop, right? Can I, play, can I play this for a second on stream? Are we allowed to enjoy anything in 2021? Am I allowed to, to make a reference to any media I've ever watched and thought was cool to share with anybody? No? I have to lock myself in my fucking room, turn the lights off, close all the windows, put headphones on, and not tell anybody I ever listened to it? I would play it right now! What the fuck? Whatever. This, I, this, I, this is a lot of fun. This is, very, this is very therapeutic. If you're looking for a game that's just therapeutic, this is one of them. This is fun. I like this. The way, this is genuinely a waste of life. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking? What? <laughs> what? I'm just spraying some walls, man. I'm just hanging out, man. <laughs> yeah, you can say that about anything. It's a waste of life. What the fuck? What about another royalty-free movie night? Yeah, I'd want to make sure that the movies were good and not just... Because so the movies we watched were funny. I want another... Is there any more Ritz, uh, Ritz Brothers movies? That's all I care about. Yeah, it can't be Bionicle. I looked into it. That's like a copywritten movie. I can't broadcast that. Is Even if it's free on the internet, it's not, I don't have the rights to broadcast it. I need something that there are no rights holders. There are still people that own the rights to... Um, all the media around Bionicle. I can't stream it. Do it anyways. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'll see you when the channel gets deleted. It was a good run. Should I throw it all away for Bionicle? What do you think? I mean, that'd be kind of a hilarious last stream ever. <laughs> that would be lame as hell if that was my final stream. I mean, it kind of would be. What if you did it with Joe Biden? What would, how would they... What would, they wouldn't be able to do anything with, about the president. I'm not gonna stream this most. <laughs> Just make a movie and watch it. I mean, I made a thousand YouTube videos. We've watched a bunch of those already. Remember videos, Resident Sleeper. Yeah, everybody's entitled to their opinion. You can have that. You can you can think my shit sucks if you want. That's fine. I'm not gonna combat you on that. 
you are free to have an opinion, which you have. I can't change that. All I can do is say thanks for watching. Thanks for coming here. Thanks for spending your day here. I was going to scream. I was going to just scream like, get the fuck out of it. I was going to scream it. My voice is already kind of fucked up. And I thought it might have scared a bunch of people. So I didn't do it. Some people are probably actually lying down right now and I don't want to scream in their ear. Some people are probably asleep. Should we like fuck with their dreams? How do we do that? Like just uh, talk about how they're asleep right now? You're asleep right now. You sleeping right now. I know you're asleep. Wake up for a sec. Look around you. This is a dream. Don't worry. This is a dream. It's me, Derma, talking to you. Sleeping. Make sure you take the trash out. Go back to bed now. I don't have anything funny to say. I thought I might have something funny to say, but I didn't come up with anything quick enough. So I told you to do a small chore. Now go back to bed. This is a dream. This is a dream. Don't worry. You're fine. This is a dream. 20,455. 20,460. 20,466. 20,006. <laughs> oh, get me off. I can't take it. That's not a prime number. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know prime numbers. Put on forest sound effects. Make them think they're in the woods. <laughs> Put an ocean sound effect. Hey, you're asleep right now and you're in the ocean. All right. Yeah, let's 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 make somebody think they're in the ocean. Hey there. It's me, German 985. On the beach with you. This is a dream, don't worry, don't get up. Just take in the salty air. Hear the seagulls. Ah, oh, it's so fresh out here, don't you think? What I want you to do is I want you to let go. Anything negative that you're thinking of. Just the waves. And you and me here. When you wake from your sleep. Don't get up, don't get up, it's okay. You're going to go to twitch.tv slash German985. If you're not already, which you have to be, because you're here with me in a dream. Ah, and you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say sub to me and shit, but like I don't want to do that. <clears throat> it's still a dream. Don't. It's you're still in a dream. Look at the boat go by. Wow. Watch the seagulls. Look above you. They just flew up. Out. Oh, one shit in my mouth. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Uh, uh, don't get up right now. You're still in a dream. When you rise, I want you to just have a new... Clean day. Clear day. Clear your head after this. You're gonna watch German streams. He's so good. He's so funny. He's like the funniest guy on Twitch. I'm gonna continue to watch. He's, so, he's like your favorite. Let's hear the waves in my voice. I snap my fingers, you're gonna wake up, and you're gonna act like a chicken. And the audience is gonna laugh. In three, two, one, you're up. You're up. I don't know, man. I was gonna do like the sub thing, but like I, I got caught halfway through and I just, it felt very really ugly and I didn't want to do it. <laughs> buck, buck. Oh, everybody's laughing. I can't believe it. He's doing a chicken. He's doing a chicken noise. Statistically, you have at least one celebrity fan. Who do you think it is? It's you. So I got to figure out who you are. Because um, that's y you are literally the celebrity in your underwear watching the stream right now. And you asked me that question. So I wonder who you are. I'm going to say, hmm, who would word it like that? Uh, I'm going to, um, hmm. The Grinch? The Grinch is not a person. It's a character that an actor plays. It's not Vin Diesel. No, it's not. Um, no, who is it then? I don't know. Who, who is that? It's pro yeah, you know what? It's probably like a senator or something. It's probably, it's probably like a congressman. Or like a, a congresswoman or something. And it's, it's, it's probably like a congressman that you would not expect. Dave State. <laughs> it's Mitch McConnell. <laughs> I, I, I was asleep during German 985's uh, 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 stream. And he was very, very kind to me. <laughs> and he told me to be the best I can. <laughs> so what I've decided is I've decided that there will be no more uh, stimulus. We don't need another stimulus. I've decided to stimulate German's bank account by providing $200 million <laughs> to his bank account. All in favor of that stimulus.
So yeah. That's not even how it works. Don't you have to vote? <laughs> Mitch McConnell. Guys, I don't think it's Mitch McConnell. I think Mitch McConnell still has trouble opening up web browsers. I think Mitch McConnell still needs to call his son to ask him how, uh, like, Microsoft Network still works. Like, uh, yeah, I, I would feel like he has, like, an MSN account, don't you? Mitch McConnell's the kind of guy that has, like, an at AOL email. And by the way, what level of celebrity are you guys talking about? Are you talking about an A-list celebrity? Or are you talking about, just like, a, some, a person of interest or something? Like, an A-list celebrity? I don't know if any A-list celebrities watch this stream. Hey, Germany, it's Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob. Look at these crazy fish I found swimming around in India. Uh, I just want to say, your streams are awesome! <laughs> Gary loves them, too. Uh, you think it's Tom Holland? I don't think so. And again, I don't know, it might, it might be. Imagine if I, imagine ever meeting somebody like at Comic-Con or something. Oh yeah, it's a, like at the autograph signing or something. And it's like, oh hey, Mi uh, I was saying, hey Mitch McConnell. Oh, Mitch McConnell, wow, I can't believe you heard Comic-Con. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I, I, I mean, I may as well be, be in a, a rubber mask. I might, I might be a scary monster, but you know, I'm here. I may as well be a scary guy. So, <laughs> Tom Holland, go, I fucked up the whole thing. Going up to Tom Holland at Comic-Con or something and getting something signed and then being like, oh, here you go. What's, what's, what's your name? The name? Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. And he leans in and like, in, like just whispers into my ear. I love that Mitch McConnell voice. What would I do? <laughs> um, I love that Mitch McConnell voice you do. Hang out with me. Should I scream that? I would be like, oh, Spider-Man's my favorite character, Spider-Man's my favorite character, I love Spider-Man, Spider-Man's my favorite character! And he'd go, all right, man. And I'd be like, oh, hey, it's me, Mitch McConnell, uh, I can't do it, hold on. Stimul, I can't, uh, he liked it, though. Um, I love Spider-Man. I, I would have to do his favorite character in front of him. I would get it so wrong, I would be so choked up like this, I wouldn't be able to do anything. But I would have to do another character instead. I'd be like, you like Mitch McConnell, but I'll give you another one. Here's Spongebob! Ah! <laughs> And security just grabs me. And then somebody, a week later, comes in with the username. Nice Spongebob, lol. Nice Spongebob impression, lol, and I know it's him. That's their username. This is a huge fan fiction. No, it's not. This is not real. This is just make-believe of nothing. Self-insert fanfic. Yeah, I know. Whatever. What's not clean? That's the only factual thing you've heard me say in this stream so far. Is the Cheesy Gordita Crunch is the best item at Taco Bell. And that we need to redo our education system. Those are the only two things I've said that are real. So what about when you said you never pooed your diaper? I did, probably a lot. I did probably all the time. When I was one. A lot of you guys don't want to hear this, but you probably have filled, you yourself, you listening to this right now, have filled probably two to three thousand diapers of shit. You don't want to hear that though, but you did. What do you mean question marks? What about you throwing up orange juice on the floor? Yes, that was real. Golf cart. Who covered the cart in cheese? I think what the actual question is, who took the cart off-roading? <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> well, all right, I have enough. All right, medium duty, here we go. Surface more, more, more. Oily in grain, what's that do? Get it. So now I got this detached house. Ooh. Change the radio? Uh, what do we got? About, alright, this this is probably gonna be the last thing we do. After this house, we'll probably call it. Oh, I like Plants vs. Zombies, that's a good one. Alright, let's do it. We're zombies. We're coming. And if only they made the second game, not a never-ending cash grab. Or pop cap. Popcap had so many cool games. Can you imagine not making an insane aquarium? Another one? Why won't they make another one? Why would they not have made- I would have rather taken the pay to win insane aquarium. They just leaned so heavy into Plants vs. Zombies. It made like five games of Plants vs. Zombies. It's like, I- I will give, give me something else. It's my favorite PS2 game. Oh, I don't know. Atamari? I don't think so. Favorite PS2 game? I don't remember a lot of PS2, I really don't. I can say my favorite N64 game, it was No Mercy. WWF No Mercy. 
That was probably my favorite game of that whole generation. When are you gonna make a TikTok account? I'm not gonna make a TikTok account. So sorry. All of you anxiously anticipating a TikTok account, you're not gonna get it. Oh, no TikTok. I, I'm not ma making any more accounts on any more platforms. I'll tell you, I gotta be honest with everybody here. This is it. I ain't moving again. I, I went from YouTube to Twitch. I'm not going from Twitch to like TikTok or something. No, this is it. This is where the story ends. How do you fast forward? You can't. I'm sorry. You have to suffer through me playing a chores game. These are my favorite games. Celebrity that watches him is Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese is not an A-list celebrity. Chuck E. Cheese is one of those people that they get to be on, like, one of the seasons of Survivor or something. You know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, I remember you. He's famous, he's a celebrity, but he's not an A-list celebrity. I didn't say I hate Chuck E. Cheese, I just said he's not an A-list celebrity. I'm not an A-list celebrity. And look, Chuck E. Cheese is way more famous and popular than I am. He would get invited onto Survivor. I wouldn't. Celebrity tier list? <laughs> but, but what would that even mean? Like, who do I think is the coolest celebrity? Who's the most famous celebrity? I mean, it's probably Tom Hanks. And Tom Hanks is an S, I think. Brad Pitt? Yeah, S. It's Brad, it's Brad Pitt and Tom Hanks. Brad Pitt is absolutely an S tier. Don't even tell me that. Of course he is. But Joe Biden. Joe Biden is a, a politician. If you're a politician, you're already a known person because you're a politician. We're talking about people that are like movie and TV show actors. Tom Cruise, yep. Gwyneth Paltrow? Uh, I don't know. Not so much any, Not so much really anymore, I don't think. No. Jennifer Aniston, I would put probably at S tier. Yeah, Jennifer Aniston's probably S tier. Hooing Jennifer Aniston? What are you talking about? One of the most famous people ever. But where does um where, where does Kathy Mitchell go though? I would be more I would be more happy and more starstruck meeting Kathy Mitchell than um Jennifer Aniston. I would be nervous around Kathy Mitchell. Well, millions have discovered the secret. I love this lady. Food can be quick and I, she's one of the most the best entertainers, one of the best dinners, hosts ever. Even desserts, all thanks to the original Express 101. What would you say? And, 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 and here more, comes Kathy Mitchell. Like enjoying fresh piping and Joe for, and, and pizzas. Fancy what's his name? And Mama for, and Ferrigno. Mama well Ferrigno. What's his name? personal pies in under ten minutes. Now you can. Joe Ferrigno. Thanks to the and Kathy Mitchell. Express ready set go. Imagine full course. Introduce them already. Like the kitchen is this is just resident sleeper meals. until we get to. to here, okay, here we go. Delicious, satisfying meals. The Express Ready, Set, Go! Just like millions of you, the Express 101 is always there for me. And I can't imagine Joe improving Ferrigno. on what's Joe already Farago. the most used <laughs> kitchen helper. But I've heard improvement is exactly what's happened. And there's only one person in the world who's qualified not Kathy to Mitchell. let us in on the news. So let's join my friend Kathy Mitchell and discover what's happened to the easiest yes. cooking appliance in my home. Kathy, hey, how are you? Good to see Great you. Great to see you too. I love my Express 101. Well, I think you're going to love it even more now because look what we can do. Big, what a star. She's an S tier. Which is beautiful frittatas and quiches, full size. And look at these pies. Blueberry, even cherry. You couldn't do that before. You've improved on perfection. I think we've made it even more perfect. Come on. Joe. I, she's S tier. I would watch this whole thing right now. I don't, I don't know if I can. This first one I've got, it's kind of a giant cookie pizza. pizza. I, call I call it, it a cookie pizza. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I call it a cookie pizza. This happens to be oatmeal chocolate chip. Anytime you need a quick dessert, it's a, I call it a cookie pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Just mix up your face. Kathy Mitchell is S tier. I would rather, I would pay $1,000 to like meet and greet Kathy Mitchell versus, I, I don't care about any other celebrity. Why? Because I, she's cool. And she's so good on camera too. She's so quick. She's so good on camera. You can't teach that. She's so natural in front of the camera. Can we pay you a thousand dollars to stop talking about the infomercial lady? It's been five minutes. I've been, what do you, it doesn't mean, I'll tell you, Kat, Kathy Mitchell was very, very comforting. I remember being, I don't, don't, I don't care I'm talking about it. I remember 
a lot of these these Kathy Mitchell infomercials would air at one, two, three o'clock in the morning. And this is back, I think, when I was in like, high school and college and stuff. It was so comforting to hear Kathy Mitchell's voice. It was just watch them. It was so nice. It was wonderful. Just have like go falling asleep to it. Anytime, whenever I was like half asleep and I'd be like, and now coming up next, the ready, set, go. I'd be like, hold on. She in this one? And if it wasn't, I'd be like, nah, I changed the channel. But if it's like, and, and coming up here, we have our resident host, Kathy Mitchell. And I'd be like, put it on, turn the volume up higher. And now you have my attention. I'm honest. I probably really am Kathy Mitchell's number one fan. I don't think anyone else can say that. I think just me. <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. No, I'm, I'm fucking fine. Everybody relax. What? I just think an infomercial lady's cool. What, what's wrong with that? <laughs> what's wrong with that? Why is, there, why is everybody treating me like I'm crazy? Shit. <laughs> I can't even. All right, let's go. Oh, God. Uh, whatever. Did a fucking volcano <laughs> erupt on their house? <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, this is from years of, of not cleaning the roof. <laughs> the Express 101. The Express Ready, Set, Go. The Snack Master. Kathy Mitchell's dump cakes. Kathy Mitchell's dump meals. Kathy Mitchell's copper pan. Kathy Mitchell's square pan. Kathy Mitchell's turbo cooker. I've seen them all. All of them. Many times over. How many did I buy? None of them. Oh, except for, I think, I think my family had the snack master. I'm pretty sure they did. Fake fan? What are you talking about? What do you mean fake fan? I had the snack master. And I had the cop. I had the copper pan. Kathy Mitchell's copper pan, I had it. The only pan I had. Your family had it. What what, is, what do you mean my family had it? I had the copper pan. I had the copper pan. I bought the copper pan. Like five years ago. Four or five years ago. Show it. I don't have the pan anymore. I stopped using it like six years ago or something. I bought it like five years ago. I'm, oh wait, I got caught. Hold on. I bought this pan when I was still in Massachusetts. I did not bring the pan to Vegas. It was the copper pan. Kathy Mitchell's face was on it. It's not a lie. I'm not lying. I had the Kathy Mitchell copper pan. I only bought it because her name was on it. Her face was on it. Buy another one right now. No, I don't need it. Actually, maybe I kind of do, actually. I could use a new pan. Maybe I'll buy it. Maybe I'll get the Kathy Mitchell copper pan again. Buy it if you're a real fan. I, I'll probably get it. It was good. It actually worked. Buy the XL Square Copper Pan. Yeah, that's the one. My Square Copper Pan is better than all the others. Let me show you. I'm putting two tablespoons of tea teaspoons. I'm adding two cups of flour. And a little bit of milk. My Copper Pan is better than all the other pans. Look at that steak. Yeah, I bought it. And they always put a piece of cheese in there. Why do they do that? They put one piece of cheddar cheese in the pan. And they cook the cheese. Who the fuck is cooking cheese in a pan? And as you see... I'm cooking cheese in this pan, and the cheese does not stick to the bottom. Why are you cooking a piece of cheese? It's to show the quality. That's the point. A grilled cheese. No, but you don't just put a slice of cheese in the pan. How many times has this happened to you? When you're cooking slices of cheese in your pan. To show it will not stick to the pan. I love when, they, when, when that guy says technology, too. With anti-stick technology. There's always a technology. With vacuum seal technology. The word technology in infomercials was the best way to make anybody over the age of 70 to pick the phone up and buy it. With true cooking technology. It's a convection oven. That's it. The super cooker cooks around all sides with our patented super turbo cooking technology. It's a convection oven. Done. Oh, technology. It's got, it's got technology in it. I'll call that number right now. Apparently it also works on you. Also, you won't shut up about it. You doing E3 next week? I am. We're doing the Microsoft conference. No Nintendo? No, Nintendos are usually... They're always like on like a Tuesday or something. And they're always like 40 minutes long. And I really don't know what the hell to do afterwards. So, no, no Nintendo. 
He hates Nintendo and Luigi. It's not true, but I have not played a Nintendo game all the way through since like Mario Galaxy. I mean, I guess you can count Mario Sunshine, but I haven't really played very many Nintendo games all the way through. What was the last Nintendo game I really played? Pikmin? Did I, uh, I beat, did I beat Pikmin? Did I complete Pikmin? No, I don't think I did, right? I got the first ending. Oh, well, I got like the, yeah, the ending, like the first part of the game. Oh, that game was fucking terrible, by the way. I was, I was holding in so much how much I hated that whole game. I wanted to scream so badly about how much I just despised playing it. I just held it in, though. It's been a lot, uh, enough time's gone by, I can tell you. <laughs> I'm kidding, Jesus! I'm kidding, oh my god. I'm kidding, don't worry. I never went back to Hades. That was the game, that was my game of the year, too. Yeah, actual game of the year, and I only played, I played like, I played it for like seven and a half hours. And I, hey, look, I know what, it, I know exactly how good it is. I don't need to know anymore. Was it in Half-Life Alex? Oh yeah, it was. That game was awesome. Half-Life Alex was so good. I underrated it? I did? Didn't I say it was the game of the year? What did I give for a rating? 9.4? That's pretty good. Going higher than a 9.4, I mean, that's... One of the most, that's one of the best games I've ever played. Having a, having a score over a 9 means that's one of the best games I've played. What else have I given a 9? In the last five years. Minecraft? Makes sense. Minecraft makes sense. House Flipper? That makes sense too. What game is a 10 out of 10? I don't know. GTA 4 is probably pretty high. Resident Evil 2 is really high, the remake. TF2 would be pretty close as well. Yeah, I don't know though. Bloodborne? Blah, Bloodborne needs to be 60 FPS. That's the one thing holding it back. I'm not sure I've ever played a perfect 10 out of 10. Team Fortress is close. <clears throat> it probably is TF2. I can't think of much else that deserves a 10. Chrono Trigger? Yeah, Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger, those are all really good. They're all at least 9.5. And I'm probably gonna call it sooner than I think. I might not even finish this one. I'm really hungry. I keep thinking of Cheesy Godita Crunches and I want one right now and I want to go eat one. Diablo or WoW Classic? Uh, Diablo 2. That's not an easy one to answer, though. I still think Diablo 2 beats it. Oh my god. Diablo 2 is just... I can't, you don't get better than that. I think Diablo 2 is a 10. Well, Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. That game was so good. That's my McDonald's order. That's, uh, it, it really depends on the day, but usually it's... Uh, it's well, right now... I'd say it's two McChickens, two McDoubles, and a Big Mac, and a five and a six-piece nugget, and two cherry pies. <laughs> Burger boy, you're a liar. Now it's two McChickens and two McDoubles, and then if I'm really really hungry, I'll get nuggets, like a six-piece. That's not obscene. They're not even that big. A McDonald's patty is like two ounces. What's a McDonald's burger patty? It's two and a half ounces or three ounces, isn't it? It's like a two or three ounce patty. You know, there are people that make four, six, five, six, seven ounce patties. It's not a joke. What, what do you mean it's a joke? I hate big patties. I think they're gross. If your patty is bigger than your bun, you got a problem. That's a problem there. The ratio of meat to bun has to be different. Has to be enough where you get... I would say meat to bun ratio. Like, uh, the meat should be half as big as the bun. Maybe even a little less. In terms of volume or mass? Um... In, like, thickness. Your bun should never be thicker. Uh, you know, your bun should never be the same thickness as your meat. Because then all the condiments have to go on. All your lettuce, your... You know, if you have tomato, I mean, that's disgusting. But if you put it on there, good for you. You've got your cheese, you've got your onion, potentially. You've got your chopped onion, not not whole onion round cir circles. No, thank you. All right, the house is clean. All right, I'm probably gonna call it here. Just don't look at the side of the house. But thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Power Washer Simulator. It's very good, it's very relaxing, it's very fun. I'm surprised I sat here for seven hours and 15 minutes. It was a lot of fun, I had a good time. Raid, raid Mizkif? All right, we're gonna raid Mizkif. I mean, we've been, talk we've been talking about him all stream. We might as well go do it. Like, I've, been, I've been talking about him all stream. It's been like seven hours of us talking about him. Raid yourself. 
Go say hi. Look, I got it. We got to at least make a. If, if, I'm, if we're gonna do, if I'm gonna go on that game show thing, whatever it is, schooled, and I've, I've, I've here's an introduction, I guess. I don't know. He's doing something fun. Network Andy. <laughs> Network Andy's back. He's back with a vengeance. Take care, guys. See you soon.